Big Mouse begins by showing a man named Park Chang-ho, who has prepared a special dinner for his wife to celebrate their wedding anniversary at a luxury restaurant. However, instead of feeling happy because her husband is very considerate, the wife named Mei-ho even looks annoyed at him because he has wasted money on things that she thinks are not important. Mei-ho reminds her husband that they must immediately pay the debt and interest, which amounts to almost 300 million won. Upon hearing that, Chang-ho instead asks her to appreciate his efforts to make her and his father-in-law happy, who are also having dinner with them at the restaurant. Hearing this, his father-in-law, Jai Guang, looks very happy. Likewise, Mei-ho's attitude suddenly turns soft and considerate towards her husband. Not long after, Chang-ho gets a call from a prosecutor in charge of investigating the murder case at the Gukshin University Hospital that he is currently working on. After finishing his phone conversation, Chang-ho says goodbye to Mei-ho and his father-in-law and leaves first because he has to meet the prosecutor elsewhere. As he is about to leave the restaurant, a waitress gives him a glass of iced coffee so he can drink it on the way. While driving his car to the meeting place, Chang-ho drank the iced coffee. But then he suddenly felt dizzy until he could not control his car steering and ended up having an accident. The scene then switches to the past, seven days before he had an accident. Chang Ho, who works as a lawyer, was dubbed the Big Mouth by his legal acquaintances due to his tendency to speak before acting, which caused him to lose every trial. Despite having a job that is quite respected in society, Chang Ho, a third-rate lawyer, still has to face financial problems because he has a large amount of debt. Even today, Chang Ho and his wife still live in his father-in-law's house. Constantly faced with difficult financial situations, he often fights with her. That morning, before leaving for court, Mai Ho warns her husband about the debt they have to pay, so she asks Chang Ho to try his best to win the case. Surprisingly, he turned out to have bribed a judge to win the case. But even more surprising is that his father-in-law supports the bribery act. When the trial is about to begin, Chang Ho is shocked that the judge who will preside over the trial has been replaced, and the judge that he has bribed has been assigned to preside over another trial. Because of this, he loses the trial and is gamed up on by the clients who have paid him. After the incident, Chang Ho seems to be talking with his father-in-law to find a solution to his problem. Moreover, he had already borrowed a large amount of money to bribe the judge. In addition, he also still has to face his wife's anger because he lost again in court. Not long after, he gets a call from Miho, who is furious after learning that he lost his trial this time. He apologizes to her and says he will work harder to win the case in court. Chang Ho then tells Miho that he intends to become a divorce lawyer. Hearing this, she became furious and threatened to file for divorce from her husband. Instead of trying to persuade her, he agreed to the divorce on one condition. He would stay at Mai Ho's father's house even after they divorced. That evening, Chang Ho, who doesn't dare to go home because he's afraid of his wife, asks Dai Guang to bring him some change of clothes since he plans to stay in the office for a while. Not long after, he gets a call from the mayor of Gushin, Choi Duha, who wants to hire him to handle a criminal case. Du Ha then tells Chang Ho to meet him at a remote location that is completely uninhabited. Arriving at the venue, Chang Ho finally meets Du Ha, who seems to have investigated his background because Du Ha came to know that he has financial problems. Du Ha immediately explains his purpose in having Chang Ho come to the place where he wants to hire him to handle the murder of Professor Seo, a doctor at the Gutshin University Hospital. Furthermore, Du Ha informs him that the police have named three high-ranking officials at the Gutshin University Hospital as suspects in Professor Seo's murder case. Du Ha deliberately chose Chang Ho because the three suspects, acquaintances with him, want a less competent and obedient lawyer to do everything they are told and follow all the trial scenarios they have prepared. Upon hearing that, Chang Ho rejected Du Ha's request because he didn't want their actions to be controlled by them. But Duha convinces Chang Ho to accept the offer because he has a plan to frame the three top brass of the Gutshin University Hospital. After all, they interfered too much in government affairs just because they had funded his campaign during the mayoral election. Afterward, 
Duha tells Chang Ho about the car dashboard camera footage that disappeared, but it is an important piece of evidence that can reveal the truth behind the murder case. Realizing that he is getting interested, Du Ha asks him to look for the camera footage since he intends to send them to prison. Du Ha gave some cash to Chang Ho and told him to pretend to be the obedient lawyer they wanted while secretly trying to find the car's dashboard camera footage. Chang Ho's first step in starting his investigation is to ask his partner at a law firm to investigate the background of the three suspects. The next day, Chang Ho visits Gutchen Prison to meet his three clients locked up in a large, luxurious detention cell like a five-star hotel. One of the suspects, a man named Du Jun, a lawyer for the Gushin University Hospital, then tells Chang Ho that he has prepared a script that Chang Ho must memorize for the trial to proceed as they wish. Not long after, another suspect named Zhang Chebong, the son of the chairman of the Gushin University Foundation, got a call from Du Ha who said that a lawyer had provided the prosecutor with information about the video recording of the car dashboard camera at the scene. Hearing this, the three men panicked and became anxious, so they told Chang Ho to get out of there. Before leaving, he still managed to put the bug in a hidden place to find out what they were talking about. Chang Ho finally finds out that the camera footage has been hidden by the three suspects and is now being kept by Hai Jin, the wife of one of the suspects, Han Jiho, a surgeon at the hospital. Chang Ho immediately gave the information to Du Ha, while conveying his suspicions that someone else was involved in the murder case. After that, Du Ha and Chang Ho rushed to meet Hai Jin, who was filming at a television station. When Hai Jin was alone in her room, suddenly, she was attacked by someone. They heard her scream and immediately rushed into the room, but the person who had attacked her managed to escape. Shortly afterward, Chang Ho and Du Ha interrogate Hai Jin about her hidden car dashboard camera footage. At first, she denies that she has the videotape. But after Chang Ho showed the recording conversation about it, she finally admitted that she had hidden the video recording on her husband's orders. Since Hai Jin refuses to give him the videotape, Chang Ho threatens her by telling her the punishment she will get if she intentionally hides important evidence of a criminal case. He then asks her about the whereabouts of other accomplices in the murder case. Because the situation was desperate, she finally revealed that the person who conspired with the three suspects was Gong Jaihun, the president of the media conglomerate Gukdong Daily. Afterward, Chang Ho accompanies Hai Jin to take dashboard camera footage. After giving the recording, Hai Jin asked Chang Ho to be careful in handling the murder case because the further he was involved in the case, his safety and those closest to him would also be threatened. That evening, Chang Ho checks the dashboard camera footage that proves that the three suspects did indeed kill Professor Seo because he refuses to hand over a paper that seems important to the four of them. In the footage, Che Bong can be seen talking to someone over the phone after they killed Professor Seo, and he suspects that the person speaking on the phone is Jai Hoon. Chang Ho then investigates Jai Hoon's background and is surprised to find out that Jai Hoon is often involved in criminal cases, such as molesting several people. On the other hand, Mai Ho is surprised by the appearance of several men from the court who want to confiscate valuable furniture in the house at the request of a private financial institution because Chang Ho has not been able to pay off the debt that has passed the deadline. Knowing that the court will confiscate the property at his father-in-law's house, Chang Ho rushes home, trying to persuade Mei Ho to forgive him. Besides that, he feels more confident going to see her because he has gotten some money from Du Ha as a down payment for handling Professor Seo's murder case. She then asked her husband where he got a large amount of cash, but he only tells her and his father-in-law that he's currently working on a pretty big case. The next day, Chang Ho rushes to meet Jai Hoon without Du Ha knowing because he plans to enrich himself by selling Jai Hoon the car dashboard camera video footage for 3 billion won. But upon arrival at Jai Hoon's residence, Chang Ho is kicked out by Jai Hoon, who is not interested in the videotape because the footage does not prove his involvement in Professor Seo's murder. On the other hand, Du Ha who tries to contact Chang Ho to ask about the recording, starts to become suspicious of him, especially after he gives various reasons for refusing to meet. Despite his annoyance, 
Du He finally complies with Chang Ho's wish that he'll see him the next day. Chang Ho tells Du ah, that he will hand over the videotape to the prosecutor who handled Professor Seo's murder case, not to Du Ha, who had previously asked him to give the videotape to him. Turning to the present, after drinking iced coffee given by a restaurant waiter, Chang Ho suddenly feels dizzy while driving a car until he has an accident. He managed to survive the fatal accident that almost took his life. When he finally wakes up, he immediately remembers the video evidence stored on his cell phone and sets out to find it. But Mai Ho tells him the car was so badly damaged that they had to destroy the car, and the evidence had disappeared somewhere. It didn't stop there. Chang Ho was then surprised by the appearance of the police who planned to arrest him because he was proven to have consumed drugs before the accident. Upon hearing that, he realizes the waiter who gave him the drink may have been ordered by someone to set him up. Because the accusations are related to drugs, he concludes that Jai Hoon is the one who set him up, because when he met Jai Hoon, Jai Hoon was taking drugs. Afterward, Chang Ho asks Du Ha for help, but he refuses his request because Du Ha has ordered him to hand over the videotape to Du Ha, but he doesn't do that. If he gives it to Du Ha first, he won't have to go through all this. In the end, Chang Ho can only accept the misfortune that befell him. He was then thrown into the Gutchen prison, the worst and most dangerous prison in South Korea. Shortly after that, he is taken to a room where the three suspects from Professor Seo's murder case and several other inmates are waiting for him. Che Bong and his comrades intend to kill Chang Ho, who has betrayed them by hanging him to death. At the same time, Du Ha, who was visiting an event at that time and met Jai Hoon, was surprised by a news broadcast on television that mentioned Chang Ho's identity as Big Mouse, the genius swindler who had committed a huge fraud magnitude. The police uncovered the fact after finding billions of won in cash and some gold bullion in Chang Ho's office during their search. Big Mouse is known as a legend in the criminal world because he committed fraud and was involved in several murder and drug trafficking cases. According to rumors, Big Mouse is also the leader of a criminal organization with great influence in South Korea. Although known as a legendary criminal, his identity has always been a mystery until finally, the police found some evidence that showed that Park Chang-ho was the Big Mouse. Knowing that Big Mouse is Park Chang-ho, Ji Hoon rushes to call the chief warden, Yoon Gab, to keep Chang Ho alive and explain that he is Big Mouse, the person who has stolen more than a hundred of his money, billion one. Yoon Gab immediately does Jai Hoon's orders and rushes to get medics to save Chang Ho, who has stopped breathing after hanging for a few minutes. In the end, he was rescued and taken to a holding cell where the inmates had no idea that a legendary criminal like Big Mouse would share a prison cell. On the other hand, Chang Ho was shocked and devastated when he discovered that he had been accused of being the Big Mouse, and he wondered why everyone believed he was the Big Mouse. Not long after, Chang Ho watches the news on television that shows the wife boldly telling all the reporters that her husband is innocent and that she will do her best to prove his innocence. The next day, Chang Ho is interrogated by a prosecutor named Choi Jong Rak, who asks if he is Big Mouse. Upon hearing that, Chang Ho denied the accusation. However, Zhang Rak instead forces him to admit to being Big Mouse because the lie detector shows that he had lied when he said he wasn't Big Mouse. Rumors of Chang Ho being the Big Mouse had spread throughout the prison, but apparently not all prisoners believe it because Big Mouse himself never revealed his identity to anyone. Meanwhile, Jae Hoon, who visits the three suspects in prison, asks them not to hurt Chang Ho, because Jai Hoon wants to investigate first whether he is Big Mouse. After all, he plans to pressure Chang Ho to return him all the money. While having lunch, Chang Ho is approached by Chun Sik, the most respected senior inmate at the prison. Chun Sik intends to prove that Chang Ho is indeed the Big Mouse by confronting him. If he had a fierce fight, he was a Big Mouse. Unfortunately, Chang Ho shows the opposite attitude, so the other prisoners begin to doubt whether he is Big Mouse. Chun Sik and the prison warden also want to prove Big Mouse's real identity on Jai Hoon's orders. Yoon Gab even prepares a delicious meal to get Chang Ho to acknowledge his identity as Big Mouse and return the money he stole from Jai Hoon. 
However, he insists that he's not Big Mouse. Since he denies that he's not the Big Mouse, Yoon Gab becomes annoyed with him and beats him, then puts him in solitary confinement for five days. A few days later, Chang Ho receives a visit from Sun Tae, who informs him that Mai Ho and her father are struggling to prove that he is completely innocent of the drug and Big Mouse cases. Knowing that Mai Ho and his father-in-law are even more suffering because of the criminal case that trapped him, Chang Ho intends to divorce his wife so that she does not suffer and can start a new life with another man who can make her happy. Chang Ho feels that he might end up serving life in prison or even getting a death sentence, so that if Mei Ho continues with him, then only suffering will she have for the rest of her life. One day, Chang Ho, desperate, decided to end his life. But after several attempts, he always failed to do so. Therefore, he intends to find someone who can kill him. The next day, Chang Ho begins to provoke Chun Sik to kill him. However, when the fight broke out, Chang Ho could knock Chun Sik unconscious with just one hit. The inmates who witnessed this were immediately shocked because the rumors about Chang Ho being Big Mouse proved true. It didn't stop there. Chang Ho looked for another inmate known to be very violent so that he could kill him. He deliberately confronts a prisoner named Kuang Yin, a psychopath and a sadistic killer. But his attempts fail again as Kuang Yin turns out to be very afraid of Big Mouse's reputation as the most respected criminal in the criminal world. With Chun Sik and Kuang Yin conquered, most of the prisoners in Gutchen prison believed that Chang Ho was the Big Mouse, so they respected him greatly. On the other hand, Chang Ho still intends to end his life and devises an escape plan so that the prison officers are forced to shoot him, and he hopes he will be killed in his attempt to escape prison. That night, Chang Ho immediately put into action his plan to escape from prison. But just as the prison officers were about to shoot him, the warden ordered his men to keep him alive and put him in solitary confinement. Yoon Gab wants to kill him. However, Yoon Gab remembers Jai Hoon's order to keep him alive because Jai Hoon believes that Chang Ho is the big mouse. Meanwhile, outside the prison, Mei Ho struggles to prove that her husband isn't a bad person. Since everyone doesn't believe her words, she is determined to discover the truth behind Professor Seo's murder case by working as a nurse at the Gutshin University Hospital. She intends to find the paper her husband mentioned, which is very important evidence of Professor Seo's murder case. In addition, Mai Ho intends to investigate the doctors and medics at the hospital, who may have conspired with the three suspects in Professor Seo's murder. However, her efforts are not easy because, on the other hand, the seniors at her work don't seem happy with her presence, so they often make things difficult for her. Mei Ho doesn't care about the intimidation that her co-workers do to her. However, what irritates her is that the hospital doesn't want to treat patients if they haven't paid. Even if the patient is in extreme pain or dying, the doctors and other medical workers will not treat the patient if they have not paid for it. The scene then switches and shows the prisoners gathered in the prison hall, where the head warden climbs the podium and tells about the case division in prison. The inmates will be divided into four castes, and those who occupy the highest caste will get special treatment while serving their sentence in prison. Each prisoner can occupy the highest caste if it meets the requirements, namely by bribing the head warden of the prison or having good relations with important government officials. Prisoners who fail to meet both requirements will be placed in the lowest caste and must work hard while serving their sentence. Chang Ho, who heard this, objected to the warden because the bribery violated the law and it was inappropriate for a warden to do this. However, Yoon Gab insists that as the chief warden of the prison, he has full power in prison and he has the right to act arbitrarily. Unable to defend himself anymore, Chang Ho was finally placed in the lowest caste along with other prisoners who could not meet the warden's requirements. He and the other prisoners are hired to clean the sewers clogged with sewage. Besides being forced to do hard work all day long, the prisoners in the lowest caste were also treated arbitrarily. They don't get proper food. They couldn't help but accept their fate. The next day, Chang Ho, who was in the field, was suddenly surprised by a prisoner who tried to stab him with a knife. He turned out to have been ordered by the three suspects in the Professor Seo murder case who intended to kill him. 
However, their efforts are thwarted by the prison guards who rush to help him. After the attack, Chang Ho was ordered to meet the warden in his office, where Yoon Gam stated that he could still survive in this prison because Jai Hoon still believed that he was the big mouse. Furthermore, Yoon Gam insists that Chang Ho will be killed if Jai Hoon discovers that he is not a big mouse. Yoon Gab even says that he will be killed and those closest to him, including Mai Ho and his father-in-law. Chang Ho, who heard the threats against his family, became furious and insisted that he would not hesitate to kill anyone who dared to harm his family, especially Mai Ho. The reason why he dared to make threats against the warden and his gang was that he was the real big mouse. Yoon Gab, who was initially arrogant, suddenly panicked and frightened after hearing his stern statement that he was Big Mouse. Chang Ho, who realizes that Jai Hoon and his gang are very dangerous people, then plans to pretend to be the real Big Mouse to protect his family. To convince the prisoners that he is the real Big Mouse, Chang Ho plans a rebellion so that the prisoners in the lowest caste are treated fairly and properly in prison. Long story short, Chang Ho started a rebellion by ordering the prisoners to bring buckets of dirt and rush out of the sewers. Watched by the other prisoners, he throws dirt at the prison guards, telling them to bring delicious food to the prisoners in the lowest caste. Not long after, Yoon Gab arrives at the place with Jai Hoon's gang to stop the chaos. However, Chang Ho seizes the moment to warn the warden of the threat he poses to Jai Hoon's accomplices if they dare disturb him and his family. Frightened by the threat, Yoon Gab finally complies with Chang Ho's wishes and orders his men to treat the prisoners in the lowest caste properly. Since then, more and more inmates have come to believe that Chang Ho is the legendary Big Mouse. Sometime later, Chang Ho is surprised by Mi Ho visiting him in prison. He felt very sad to see the look on her face, who seemed to be carrying a heavy burden, and he blamed himself because he was the one who had caused her to suffer like that. Mai Ho was there to discuss the divorce lawsuit that Chang Ho had filed so that she could start a new life and get the happiness he had wanted. However, she insists that she will never divorce him and continue to fight by his side to reveal the truth of the case involving him and prove to everyone that he is not bad. Seeing Mai Ho struggle, Chang Ho also has a new purpose in life and decides to continue to survive in that prison no matter what. He will also continue to pretend to be Big Mouse to take revenge on those who got him into this trouble. The next day, Chang Ho asks Jerry, one of the prisoners who has become his subordinate, to spread the word that he can grant any wish of the prisoners without any conditions. The news quickly spreads throughout the prison, and the inmates begin to wonder if he is capable of granting their wishes. Although Chang Ho already has a very good reputation as the Big Mouse, the prisoners don't necessarily believe the news, so only Kuang Yin and an inmate named No Park come to see him and make their request. After listening to their request, Chang Ho promises that he will make every effort to grant it. Meanwhile, the three suspects for Professor Seo's murder are seen plotting to kill Chang Ho and turn to the warden for help. Yoon Gab had refused to help them because Jai Hoon had ordered him to keep Chang Ho alive, and he didn't dare go against Jai Hoon's orders. However, after Che Bong and his comrades offered a reward of 300 million won, Yoon Gab finally agreed to help them kill Chang Ho. After that, Chang Ho, who is in the holding cell, is surprised by the appearance of Lee, the inmate who previously attacked him in the field. Lee says he regrets his actions and apologizes to Chang Ho. Che Bong had ordered Lee and his comrades to kill Chang Ho. However, his attempts fail because Chang Ho is protected by the inmates who share the prison cell with him in the holding cell. The next day, as directed by the warden, they manage to corner Chang Ho, who is alone. However, Chang Ho's men soon realized the plan and rushed to help him. Surprisingly, Huang Yin turns out to be betraying Chang Ho for colluding with Chi Bong. He takes out a knife and is about to stab Chang Ho. But No Park, who saw this, did not stay silent and rushed to save him by sacrificing himself. Yoon Gab, who saw the chaos through CCTV cameras, ordered his men to stop the fighting there because it could involve him in much bigger problems. On the other hand, Chi Bong and his comrades are visibly irritated to learn that their plan has failed. Meanwhile, Meho still can't find clues or evidence about Professor Seo's murder case at the hospital. 
Therefore, when the doctors and medics are meeting together, she tells them in front of them that she keeps the late Professor Seo's paper that hasn't been published yet. Everyone who heard her words immediately became silent and looked cynically at her. Mei Ho dared to say that because she wanted to see their reaction and hoped someone would see her because of it. Unexpectedly, Du Ha is the first to meet Mei Ho to discuss Professor Seo's paper. When he finally meets, she asks him to answer because he has involved her husband in the problem that caused Chang Ho to be in prison. But he refutes her words and says that Chang Ho was sent to prison for his own doing. A few days later, the prisoners were in an uproar when Li was found dead by hanging himself. Even so, many prisoners do not believe that Li took his own life, and more believe that Big Mouse has killed him. One day, Zhang Hu meets Chang Ho in prison and says his visit is to prove whether Chang Ho is the real Big Mouse or just an ordinary person claiming to be Big Mouse. To prove this, Jae Hoon asks him to name five loyal customers who always buy drugs from Big Mouse. If he were the real Big Mouse, then he would know that. Jae Hoon gives him four days to reveal the names of the five drug buyers, and if he says them wrong, then Jae Hoon won't hesitate to kill him and his family. After Jai Hoon leaves the prison, Chang Ho rushes to call Du Ha to offer a deal. Chang Ho confirms to Du Ha that Jai Hoon was involved in Professor Seo's murder case and is determined to prove it. Therefore, he asked Du Ha for help finding out about the clients who bought drugs from Big Mouse and gave the information to him within four days. Not long after, the prisoners having lunch were surprised by two inmates who died after drinking poison. Although in the CCTV camera footage it was clear that the two prisoners drank the poison without pressure from anyone, the prisoners did not necessarily believe it and assumed that Big Mouse had killed them. The prison guards then searched Chang Ho's detention cell, but they did not find any evidence of the poisoning incident experienced by the two inmates. Meanwhile, Mei Ho, who recently feels that a man has always been stalking her, asks her father to help ambush him. After catching the stalker, she finally finds out that the stalker is none other than Du His assistant, who Du Ha ordered to look after her. He did this to ensure her safety because some time ago, she had mentioned Professor Seo's paper, which was important evidence in a criminal case. Before leaving, Du Ha gives Mei Ho a slip of paper that lists the names of Big Mouse's customers, who often buy drugs in large quantities from Big Mouse, which he got from Zhang Rak a prosecutor who is an acquaintance of his. The next day, Mei Ho met Chang Ho in prison and handed him the list of clients' names. On the other hand, the prisoners make bets about Big Mouse's identity and whether Chang Ho is the real Big Mouse. The prisoners look enthusiastic, and many bet he is the real Big Mouse. At the same time, Ji Hoon tells Du Ha that the list of clients Chang Rak gave to him is fake. Ji Hoon says that because he knows that Du Ha helped Chang Ho get the list. Hearing this, Du Ha rushes to the prison to tell Chang Ho that the list of names he got from Zhang Rak is fake. Unfortunately, Du Ha has no chance to speak to Chang Ho, and they exchange glances. Long story short, Chang Ho and Ji Hoon sit opposite each other, where they write the names of Big Mouse's five biggest clients on a piece of paper and hand it over to the warden. When Yoon Gab opened it, he was shocked to see Chang Ho wrote the same name as Jai Hoon, which proves that Chang Ho is Big Mouse. The prisoners who bet on Chang Ho seem to cheer with joy for winning the bet, while the three suspects in Professor Seo's murder look even more shocked when they finally find out that he is the Big Mouse who is highly respected in the criminal world. Jai Hoon then asks him to return the hundred billion won that he stole. Furthermore, Ji Hoon informs that one of Big Mouse's subordinates, Peter Hong, who has been an intermediary for Big Mouse to deceive them, has been caught, so Big Mouse can't avoid his crimes. Soon after, Yoon Gab gets a call from the prosecution asking them to take Chang Ho to see the prosecutor investigating the fraud case against Ji Hoon and his gang. When finally Chang Ho is confronted by Zhang Rak in the interrogation room, Peter looks terrified to see Chang Ho sitting next to him. Now that he was desperate, Peter was desperate to inject something into his body, and he eventually died of poisoning. Jae Hoon seems very annoyed that the only witness in the Big Mouse fraud case died before he could testify against Big Mouse. Soon after, he asks Du Ha the truth about Mai Ho hiding Professor Seo's paper. 
Duha says that Mai Ho is bluffing and that he's confirmed that the paper isn't with her. Meanwhile, Mai Ho, who is about to leave the hospital, sees a very fixated woman watching the television broadcast showing the deputy director of the Gushin University Hospital, Hyun Ju Hee, who is Duha's wife. The woman seemed to be staring at the cross necklace that Ju Hee was wearing, where she remembered that the late Professor Seo had asked her help to make a cross necklace pendulum that could be used to store a microchip. Mei Ho realizes this and plans to investigate the relationship between Ju Hee and Professor Seo. Afterward, Mei Ho gets a call from Jae Hoon asking her to meet at a restaurant, where Du had turns out to have installed a bug to listen in on their conversation. Jae Hoon tells her he intends to buy Professor Seo's paper if it is hers. Hearing this, she realizes that he is trying to frame her, so she says she has no interest in selling the paper to anyone, as she will use it to uncover the truth behind Professor Seo's murder and clear her husband's name, who was involved in the case. Jai Hoon then tells her not to care about her husband anymore because Chang Ho is the real big mouse. Mei Ho just smiled at Jai Hoon's words because he knew that Chang Ho was just pretending. As she is about to leave, he tells her that everyone who holds on to Professor Seo's paper will die and warns her that her life is in danger. However, Mei Ho insists that her husband is Big Mouse, so she doesn't have to be afraid of anyone, including him and his gang. On the other hand, Mei Ho's father and Soon Tae investigate a lake house that Professor Seo had visited before his death. They also get information that Professor Seo often visits the lake house with a woman, and the two look very affectionate, like couples who love each other. Meanwhile, in prison, Jerry is seen handing out bets to the prisoners who bet on Chang Ho. Chun Sik wins the bet because he also believes that Chang Ho is Big Mouse. At the same time, Chang Ho gets 300 million won in cash from Che Bong and his comrades because he won the bet by proving that he is the real Big Mouse. Yoon Gab looks visibly surprised that Chang Ho is giving him far more commission than they previously agreed. Besides that, Chang Ho also gives some money to become a VIP prisoner and plans to throw a big party for all the prisoners. As he enters the cafeteria, Chang Ho is greeted like a king whose name is hailed by all the prisoners. Even Chun Sik, previously the most respected prisoner in prison, finally recognizes the greatness of Big Mouse and looks happy to welcome his presence in prison. Meanwhile, Che Bong and his comrades look so panicked and worried that Big Mouse has taken over power in prison, which can threaten their lives. Not long after, Chang Ho comes to them with his men and asks Che Bong and his comrades to admit their guilt at trial if they want to survive. That night at the hospital, Mei Ho accidentally catches the head nurse, a woman named Mai Young, who is taking a blood sample from a patient without an official certificate from the hospital or the patient's family. Afterward, Mei Ho secretly follows Mai Young, who takes the blood sample to the research and technology laboratory in the basement of the hospital building. She sneaks into the laboratory, but is caught by Ju Hee, who comes with a security guard. Ju Hee scolds Mai Ho for entering an area that is not her work area. Mei Ho apologizes and reasons that she just followed the head nurse who entered the room. However, the security guard says that no one goes in there except her. Juhi tells her to leave the room and insists to the security guard not to let anyone enter the laboratory without permission. A few days later, Chang Ho, who now has a big influence in prison after successfully proving that he is the real big mouse, then cooperates with Chun Sik to corner Che Bong and his comrades so that they confess to the murders they have committed. Not long after, Chang Ho and his men force Jae Ho into the room where they once tried to kill him. He asks Jae Ho to confess to those who killed Professor Seo in the car, but because Jae Ho refused, Chang Ho ordered his men to hang him. Chang Ho turns out just want to bully Jae Ho and decides to keep him alive. Having been between life and death and realizing that Chang Ho would not hesitate to kill him, Jae Ho finally agrees to reveal the truth behind Professor Seo's murder in the trial according to his wishes. Elsewhere, Du Ha meets Mai Ho and says that Chang Ho is the real Big Mouse. Afterward, he revealed that the list of names he got from the prosecutor was fake. However, Chang Ho knows the real list of names, indicating that he is the real Big Mouse. 
Duha also tells her that a witness who had seen Big Mouse's face looked very frightened and decided to end his life after meeting Chang Ho. Besides that, all the prisoners who tried to kill Chang Ho in prison are found to have died under mysterious circumstances. Even though she looks shocked and devastated by Du Ha's words, Mei Ho tries to keep her husband's trust. On the way home, Mei Ho gets a call from her father informing her that Chang Ho has paid off all their debts in cash. Hearing this, she can't hold back her tears anymore and thinks that what Du has said about Chang Ho being the real Big Mouse is true. On the following day, the prison warden announced to all the prisoners that they would have volunteers from the Gushin University Hospital who would conduct a medical checkups on all the prisoners. Besides Mai Ho, Hai Jin, who is Han Jae Ho's wife and good at cooking, will also be there and make delicious dishes for the prisoners. When Mai Ho enters the hall, the prisoners bow to her because she is Big Mouse's wife. One of the prison guards named Su Chol meets Mai Ho and says he will take her to Chang Ho's place in the VIP detention cell. After meeting Chang Ho with a disappointed face, Mai Ho asks him if he is the real Big Mouse. He reveals to her that someone knocked him out when he read the list of clients Du Ha gave him. Finally coming to his senses, he finds a tarot card bearing a completely different list of names from the one Du Ha had given him. When meeting with Du Ha shortly before the betting starts, he realizes that the list of names that Du Ha gave him is fake, and the ones written on the tarot cards are the real ones. Furthermore, Chang Ho reveals that he always gets messages from Big Mouse through tarot cards inserted in the Bible and thinks that Big Mouse might be in prison and is watching him. Because of that, he had no choice but to continue playing his role as Big Mouse. On the other hand, Hai Jin is finally reunited with her husband, who is in prison. However, her husband beats her and accuses her of having an affair with another man during his imprisonment. Blinded by jealousy, Jae Ho desperately strangles her, finally letting go of her when she manages to convince her husband that she's not having an affair. Afterward, he apologizes to her, saying he will soon be released from prison. At the same time, Chang Ho finally enters the prison hall, where he is greeted like a reigning king. He warns Mai Young to stop bullying Mai Ho while exposing the disgrace of Mai Young's husband and other volunteers, including Jai Hoon's wife, Ashley Kim. However, when he meets Ju He, Chang Ho instead asks her to take care of Mai Ho. On her way home, Mai Ho accidentally notices someone else's hand on Hai Jin's neck, indicating that someone might have strangled her. She becomes curious about the person who strangled Hai Jin in prison. Elsewhere, Jai Hoon and Du Ha meet an old man named Kang Sung Jun, the chairman of the NR Forum, of which Jai Hoon and Du Ha are members of the forum. Jai Hoon pleads with Chairman Kang to help him free Chi Bong and his comrades, but he rejects Jai Hoon's request because the judge handling the case is not on his side. Upon hearing that, Du Ha tells Chairman Kang that he's willing to help Ji Hoon because he knows the judge well. But Ji Hoon instead looks irritated that Du Ha wants to win Chairman Kang's sympathy so that he can become the new chairman to replace Sung Jun, who is about to retire. That night, Mei Ho gets information from a woman named Kyung Suk about Professor Seo's paper stored in a woman's cross necklace. Presuming that the woman is Ju Hee because she's wearing a cross necklace, Mei Ho rushes over to her and tries to confirm. However, her prediction turned out to be wrong because nothing was found inside the cross necklace worn by Juhi. Mei Ho apologizes for breaking Juhi's necklace, which she said was precious to her. After confirming that Juhi is not the person Kyung Suk was referring to, Mei Ho watches the rerun of the television show and finally finds out that the woman wearing the cross necklace is not only Juhi but also Hai Jin. Meanwhile, in prison, Chang Ho texts Big Mouse to help him send Chi Bong and his comrades to prison for the murder of Professor Seo. But Big Mouse instead told him to do it his way. Soon after that, Chang Ho threatens Jae Ho again to tell the truth in court, or he won't hesitate to burn Jae Ho alive. Elsewhere, Hai Jin looks very frustrated by the violence she has always experienced during her marriage with Jae Ho. She remembers the past when Professor Seo helped her after Jae Ho beat her. Since that incident, Hai Jin and Professor Seo become closer until they fall in love and have a romantic relationship. 
When she opens the cross necklace pendant that the late Professor Seo gave her, Hainshin finally finds out that Professor Seo's paper, which everyone is looking for, has been with her all along. The next day, Che Bong and Du Jun seem very happy to be released from prison. But not so with Jia Ho, who turns out to have been found out that he was in cahoots with Big Mouse, so the head warden put him in solitary confinement. On the other hand, Chang Ho is shocked to learn that Chun Sik has betrayed him and is siding with Che Bong and Du Jun. With a happy laugh, Che Bong taunts Chang Ho for being so easily betrayed by his minions. After ordering Chun Sik to kill Chang Ho, Che Bong and Du Jun rush out of Gushin prison. However, after they leave, Chang Ho laughs and says they've all been fooled. Meanwhile, Jae Ho was not taken to solitary confinement, but was held captive by Chun Sik and his men, who had received orders from Ji Hoon to kill Jae Ho. Just as one of Chun Sik's men is about to kill Jae Ho by trying to crush his head, Chang Ho suddenly appears with his men and asks him to free Jae Ho. During the fight, Chang Ho managed to save Jae Ho and took him to the infirmary where he revealed that Jai Hoon planned to kill Jae Ho in prison and make him a scapegoat while they were all cleared of charges. Therefore, Chang Ho asks Jae Ho to reveal the truth behind the murder case so that Jai Hoon and the others get the punishment they deserve. However, Jae Ho looks scared, not at Jai Hoon, but at the important people behind him. When Chang Ho asks who they are, Jae Ho refuses to elaborate further, as doing so would put his own life at risk. On the other hand, the fight between Chang Ho's men and Chun Sik's group turns out to be just a charade because Chun Sik never betrayed him, and it was all part of his plan to uncover the conspiracy behind Professor Seo's murder. Meanwhile, Mei Ho, who attends the funeral of a patient at the Gutchin University Hospital, overhears the patient's family conversation, asking the hospital not to perform an autopsy on the patient's corpse and bury it in a certain cemetery, not a public cemetery. Hearing this, Mei Ho intends to investigate and tries to take a sample of the patient's blood before the body is cremated. She sneaks into the morgue to take the blood sample. But after leaving the morgue, how surprised she is to find out that the hospital's deputy director is already there with the head nurse, as if they already knew her plan. Ju He then tells Mai Young to search Mai Ho's bag, but since Mai Young couldn't find anything suspicious, they finally let her go. Later. While Mai Ho is at work, she sneaks into the morgue and takes a patient's blood sample. But then, she comes under attack from a mysterious man who tries to kill her. Duha, who happened to be there, rushed to help her. Unfortunately, the mysterious man managed to escape. Mai Ho assumes that the man is trying to stop her from investigating the patient's blood sample. After confirming that the blood sample is still with her, she very relieved and rushes to send it to one of her acquaintances at the National Forensic Service. She tells Du how that the blood sample might reveal why Professor Seo had to be killed. Meanwhile, in prison, Chang Ho entered the chapel to get tarot cards from Big Mouse, usually inserted in the scriptures. Chang Ho, who was intent on dismantling the real Big Mouse, turns out to have secretly installed a camera inside one of the statues there with the help of Sun Tae, who also gave him a cell phone that was tucked into a book. When Chang Ho checks the camera footage, how surprised he is when he finds out that Jerry entered the chapel and held the tarot card from the Big Mouse, he thinks that Jerry is the real Big Mouse. Moreover, Jerry had always been kind to him, even from the first time he entered the prison. Shortly afterward, Chang Ho confronted Jerry about it but denied it, insisting that he didn't take the tarot cards. Chang Ho then sends him away and gets a call from Mi Ho saying she got flowers and tarot cards. Since tarot cards are Big Mouse's trademark, Chang Ho immediately notices that Big Mouse is trying to warn him through her. If so, then it means that Big Mouse knows about hidden cameras. However, the only ones who know about the hidden camera and his plans to reveal the identity of the real Big Mouse are Mei Ho, Mei Ho's father, and Soon Ta. On the other hand, Jerry, who turns out to know Big Mouse's characteristic of always sending orders through tarot cards, finally realizes that Chang Ho is not the real Big Mouse and feels disappointed in him. A few days later, Jerry is surprised by a visit from his younger sister, Yang Seo, who says that a good person is willing to pay for his studies, and that person is none other than Jai Hoon. 
Jerry looks surprised when Jai Hoon appears behind him and says he will be released that day. As he is about to be released, Jerry buys drinks for the prisoners he shares with, including Chang Ho. Ji Hoon told him to poison Chang Ho with the drink. At first, he refuses because he doesn't want to kill Chang Ho. But Jai Hoon assures him that the poison won't kill Chang Ho, but will only cause a stomachache. Hearing this, Jerry finally obeyed Jai Hoon's orders. Seeing Chang Ho in so much pain, the prison guards rushed him to the hospital. At the same time, Mei Ho, who arrived there with her father, was then informed by Jerry that Chang Ho was in an ambulance that had just come out of prison. The three of them rushed after the ambulance, which did not lead to the hospital. Mai Ho tries to overtake the ambulance to stop it and forces the guards to take her husband to the hospital, or she will report them for neglect of duty and responsibility. They finally arrive at the hospital, and Chang Ho gets immediate medical treatment. After that, Mei Ho and her father thanked Jerry for helping Chang Ho. They also gave him some money as an expression of gratitude. Jerry had refused the gift, but because she forced him, he finally accepted the money and left. On the other hand, while Chang Ho is asleep, a policeman sneaks into the treatment room to take his thumbprint on orders from Jai Hoon. The next day, Chang Ho was taken back to prison because his condition had recovered. On the way, he remembers what she said about a toxic substance found in his intestines and concludes that Jerry was trying to poison him. However, he assumes that Jerry did it on someone's orders. As he crosses the road to Gukshin Prison, Chang Ho realizes that he will be taken elsewhere since they don't lead to prison. He tried to free himself. However, the guards managed to sedate him until he was unconscious. Chang Ho was taken to the Jizan Mental Center after Jai Hoon manipulated the police and prosecutors to send Chang Ho to a mental hospital. Jai Hoon and Zhang Rak then arrived to inject the truth serum for Chang Ho to reveal where he hid the billions of won in cash. However, after Zhang Rak injected the serum, Chang Ho hallucinated seeing a giant rat and thousands of small rats swarming around him. He faints from the side effects of the serum. In his dream, Chang Ho remembers his past when he first met Mai Ho's father, who was still a police officer, and it was revealed that Chang Ho came from an orphanage and had no parents or close relatives. Chang Ho and Mai Ho have been friends for a long time, and she cares about him because he is an orphan. Even though Mai Ho still has a father who loves her very much, she also knows what it's like not to have a mother by her side so that she can understand his feelings. Turning to the present, Chang Ho finally wakes up and tells the location of the money carelessly because he doesn't know where Big Mouse has hidden the money. Jai Hoon and his men rush to the mentioned location and find a gold bar buried there. Jai Hoon, annoyed that he couldn't find the money, returns to Chang Ho, showing the gold bar they found at the location. Chang Ho was very surprised because he had just made up about the location. He assumed that Big Mouse had been watching him all this time, then tried to buy time for Big Mouse to save him from that place. When Chang Ho is in a mental hospital, Jai Ho turns out to have been released. Because of this, Hai Jin looks so scared and depressed that Mai Ho finally comes to see her and tries to convince her to divorce her husband. However, she refuses to divorce for fear of being tortured by Jai Ho. Elsewhere, Ju He is meeting Chairman Kang whose health condition is getting worse, and pleads with him to make her husband the person who will take his place. But he thinks Duha is unfit to be the next chairman and wants her to take the position. When Chairman Kang was asleep, Juhi asked her husband to look after him. But Duha wants to kill him. Meanwhile, at the mental hospital, Big Mouse's men have started a rescue action to get Chang Ho out of there. Despite struggling against a large hospital staff who tries to kill him, Chang Ho eventually overthrows the big man and escapes from the mental hospital with Jerry's help. The head nurse who saw Chang Ho manage to escape, then ordered the guards to chase him. Jerry then takes him to a tunnel, where Big Mouse has prepared a car. Jerry then tells Chang Ho to hurry away, while he'll distracts the guards since he's been paid by Big Mouse to do so. Not long after, Chang Ho finally found the car Jerry was referring to, which included a cell phone, some cash, and clothes so he could disguise himself. After changing clothes, Chang Ho rushed to drive his car to the highway. 
but he is shocked when he sees Jerry unconscious and covered in blood because he is determined to break through the blockade of the police and guards and ends up having a tragic accident. Elsewhere, Meiho tries to persuade Haijin to work with her. In addition, she asks her father and Sum Ta to persuade a well-known content creator in cyberspace to discuss and broadcast the murder case of Professor Seo on her YouTube channel. She does this so everyone knows the truth behind Professor Seo's murder case. At the same time, Chang Ho, who feels very anxious about having to pass through the checkpoint after he becomes a fugitive from the police, then becomes surprised when a police officer lets him pass, which indicates that Big Mouse has a very wide network, and even includes government agencies such as the police. Chang Ho finally arrives at a hotel where Big Mouse has prepared everything so he can do his part well. Because Mai Ho succeeded in persuading the content creator, the news of Professor Seo's murder became a trending topic on social media and a hot topic in society. Jai Hoon and his henchmen become even more worried, especially after learning that Chang Ho escaped the mental hospital. Not long after, Jai Hoon gets a call from Hai Jin, informing him that Professor Seo's paper is with her. She says she will hand the paper over to him if he convinces Jai Ho to divorce her. Hai Jin also threatens to give the paper to Big Mouse if he doesn't comply. Upon hearing that, Jai Ho insists that he will not divorce her. However, Ji Hoon scolds her and says that if the paper gets known to others, then Chairman Kang will also be affected. Long story short, the day of the trial for Professor Seo's murder case has finally arrived. Journalists have been waiting in the courthouse for the trial, which will be held openly. At the same time, the content creator started live streaming on his YouTube channel by presenting a guest star who was none other than Chang Ho. Chang Ho predicts that Chi Bong and the other two suspects will be acquitted of all charges through the live stream. Mei Ho, who was in the courtroom, apparently also watched the live stream and told about the trial in the comments column. Several people around her watch the live stream and end up watching it on their cell phones. Jai Hoon, who knows about the live stream, then orders his men to track down Chang Ho's whereabouts, while he continues to state all his predictions in detail about the trial of Professor Seo's murder case, Jae Hoon and his henchmen have planned very well. Because the situation got a little rowdy due to Chang Ho's live streaming, Zhang Rak begged the judge to give him a break until things calmed down again. The judge approves his request and grants him a 30-minute break. He then discusses with Jai Hoon and his henchmen what next steps they will take. In the middle of the conversation, Jai Hoon gets a call from Hai Jin, telling him that she's now at cafe across from the courthouse. If he doesn't provide the divorce papers she requested within 20 minutes, she'll turn the papers over to Big Mouse. Jai Hoon finally asks the court to issue Hai Jin's divorce papers and forces her to sign them. Afterward, he rushed to meet her and exchanged the divorce papers she wanted with a microchip. He then asks about the current location of Big Mouse, and Hai Jin tells him. After getting the information, Jae Hoon immediately asked Zhang Rak to dispatch the police to the location that Hai Jin mentioned. On the other hand, Chang Ho is discussing Professor Seo's paper, which was the real motive for the murder in the case. However, the investigating prosecutor ignored the paper issue and removed some important evidence, so the three suspects were eventually acquitted of all charges. When Che Bong, Du Jun, and Che Ho are about to leave the courthouse, reporters surround them, trying to get a statement about the murder case involving the three. But before they can give a statement, a truck stops and shows a live stream that is still going on. Everyone's attention then turned to the monitor screen, which showed Jai Hoon and Hai Jin, who were in the cafe. Chang Ho turns out to install a hidden camera and broadcasts Jai Hoon and Hai Jin's conversation live, where Jai Hoon clearly says that Professor Seo's paper is very important, which his words directly prove that Professor Seo was murdered by the three people because of the paper. On the other hand, Jai Hoon's assistant tells his boss that their conversation is being recorded and broadcast live on the YouTube channel, so Jai Hoon tries to find the hidden camera and destroys it. Not long after, Chang Ho finally shows up at the courthouse and tells Zhang Rak that he should appeal to the judge because of Jai Hoon's statement regarding Professor Seo's paper. Zhang Rak is forced to appeal and drag Che Bong, 
and his comrades back to court with everyone looking at him. After that, Chang Ho says that he didn't escape prison, but was kidnapped by Ji Hoon and John Rak, who then took him to a mental hospital. When the police finally get there, Chang Ho is immediately taken away and about to be thrown back into prison. Before leaving, he had time to say goodbye to those closest to him, where Soon Ta then told him that Jerry managed to survive the accident that almost took his life. Realizing that Jerry might know the real Big Mouse, Chang Ho asks Soon Ta to see Jerry at the hospital. Arriving at the hospital, Soon Ta tucked a letter under Jerry's pillow because he was asleep, and Soon Ta didn't want to wake him. The letter turns out to be from Chang Ho, who wants to thank Jerry because he risked his own life to save Chang Ho. Not long after, a doctor took the letter and gave it to Jerry when he woke up. Surprisingly, the doctor has a tattoo on his wrist, which is the hallmark of Big Mouse's minions. After Jerry received the letter, he tore it up instead. Meanwhile, Chang Ho, who has finally returned to prison, is greeted with great fanfare by the inmates, impressed by all that he did during his brief escape. Soon after that, No Park tells Chang Ho about a strange disease spreading in prison. Some prisoners that were fined suddenly become so aggressive that they attack others indiscriminately. Besides that, they also experience vomiting blood and are eventually unconscious. For some reason, the disease only affects well-behaved prisoners and has never caused any problems while in prison. Afterward, Ji Hoon meets Chang Ho in prison and informs him that he wasn't the one who planned to kill Professor Seo, but Ji Hoon refuses to tell Chang Ho about the person behind Professor Seo's murder. At the same time, Che Bong and his comrades are seen meeting Chairman Kang and begging him to help them get out of the trouble they are currently facing. However, he refuses because the three of them have bad attitudes. Not long after, Du Ha arrives at the venue and hands Chairman Kang an envelope containing Professor Seo's paper. Here it is revealed that the mastermind behind Professor Seo's murder was none other than Du Ha, who wanted the paper. He is also the one who caused Chang Ho to get into an accident, and he takes the car dashboard video camera recording on Chang Ho's cell phone, then destroys the evidence. On top of that, Du Ha is also the one who planned it all and orders the three suspects to obey his orders if he doesn't want to spend his life in prison. In the evening, he enters a secret place filled with cash and gold bullion, then places the microchip containing Professor Seo's paper there. The next day, Mei Ho is forced to resign from the Gushin University Hospital after Ju He finds out about her secretly giving a blood sample of one of the hospital's patients to the National Forensic Agency. Even though nothing suspicious was found in the blood sample, she still has suspicions about Ju He and the medical staff at the hospital. At the same time, Chang Ho texts Big Mouse, asking to see him in prison. Surprisingly, Big Mouse replies to Chang Ho's message through tarot cards, indicating that he will come to see Chang Ho at 8 o'clock at night in the prison chapel. At 8 o'clock at night, Chang Ho, sitting alone in the chapel, heard the sound of approaching footsteps, and as he looked back, how surprised he was when he saw the chief warden who had come to the place. Chang Ho asks the warden if he is the real Big Mouse. Yoon Gam then shows him the tattoo that is the trademark of Big Mouse and reveals that he was the one who killed the three inmates, as well as the one who gave him the real list of clients. However, when Chang Ho asks about the gold buried in the ground, Yoon Gab refuses to tell him. Yoon Gab then urges him to reveal the contents of Professor Seo's paper, but he refuses to answer the question as he doubts that Yoon Gab is the real Big Mouse. Chang Ho concludes that all of Big Mouse's men must have the tattoo as a trademark, but Big Mouse is not their boss. So therefore, he asks Yoon Gab to tell Big Mouse to come to see him directly if he wants to know about Professor Seo's paper and threatens to destroy the paper if Big Mouse hurts his family. Meanwhile, Du Ha, watching a video documentary about Chairman Kang's past when he first founded his company, sees a photo of Chairman Kang with an old man and two boys, one of whom turns out to be Du Ha. At that time, Du Ha, who was still venting, then gets a call from Chang Ho telling him that he has important information about Big Mouse and asks Du Ha to come to the prosecutor's office while Chang Ho is being questioned about the Big Mouse case.
The next day, Mei Ho comes to the prison at the warden's request because she sent a job application letter to become a medical officer serving in prison. Besides Mei Ho, the warden also calls Mai Young, one of the nurses at the Gushin University Hospital who also applies for the job. In the middle of a job interview session, Mai Ho and the others are shocked by the commotion in the field caused by the inmates fighting each other. One of the prisoners involved in the fight is Kuang Yin, who suddenly becomes aggressive and attacks the other prisoners. The prison guards had a hard time dealing with him until they were forced to shock him with electric guns to overthrow him. Seeing the drastic change in Kuang Yin, Chun Sik suspects him of taking drugs. However, No Park denied this, who said that the prisoners would not easily get drugs in prison, especially in large quantities that can cause drastic changes in their behavior. Su Chol then checks on Kuang Yin's condition and panics when he finds out that Kuang Yin isn't breathing. Seeing this, Mei Ho immediately rushed to help Kuang Yin. Not long after, Kuang Yin can finally breathe again, and she gets appreciation from the prisoners for saving him. When the ambulance arrives to take Kuang Yin to the hospital, the warden asks Mai Ho to accompany him. At the same time, Du Ha finally complies with Chang Ho's request to come to the prosecutor's office, where he then asks Jung Rak to drop his charges for Chang Ho's drug case. Hearing this, Du Ha remembered that he was the one who had ordered a waitress to give the drink to Chang Ho. Soon afterward, Chang Ho shows him recorded evidence showing a conversation between himself and the warden, who claims to be Big Mouse. Chang Ho assumes that Yoon Gab is not the real Big Mouse, but an underling who Big Mouse told to pretend to be him. After that, he gives the tape to Du Ha and asks Jung Rak to arrest the warden on charges of abuse of power, extortion, and molestation. Meanwhile, the doctor tells Mei Ho, who is in the hospital, that no poison or drug of any kind was found in Kuang Yin's body. She wonders why he is being so aggressive and showing symptoms of serious illness. Not believing the doctor's words, she secretly takes Kuang Yin's blood sample and does the test independently. While leaving Kuang Yin's treatment room, Mei Ho runs into Su Chol, who says she can go home now that her work hours are over. Hearing this, Mei Ho realizes she has been accepted to work as a nurse at Gushin Prison. On the way home, Mei Ho hands someone a sample of Kuang Yin's blood and asks him to be careful when testing it. The next day, No Park informs Chang Ho that Mei Ho has been accepted to work at Gutchen Prison as a nurse. Hearing this, Chang Ho became very surprised and did not expect her to be so reckless. On the other hand, the warden tries to get information from Mei Ho regarding Professor Seo's paper. However, Mei Ho, who has learned that Yoon Gab is Big Mouse's right-hand man, refuses to explain anything to him, even though he threatens her. Meanwhile, an angry Chang Ho goes to Yoon Gab in his room because he thinks that Yoon Gab was the one who dragged Mei Ho to prison. But Yoon Gab immediately denies saying that Mei Ho applied for the job herself. After that, Yoon Gab offers Chang Ho a deal to answer each other's important questions honestly. Chang Ho begins by asking why Big Mouse is obsessed with Professor Seo's paper. He replies that someone very dear to Big Mouse has died because of the paper. Yoon Gab then asks about the contents of Professor Seo's paper. Chang Ho points out that the paper mentions blood samples taken from prisoners. However, he doesn't go into more detail with Yoon Gab and asks him to tell Big Mouse that he'll tell Big Mouse the full content of the paper if he comes to see him. After that, Chang Ho gets permission to see Mai Ho, and he asks her to resign for her job. But she refuses because she wants to take the prisoner's blood samples in person and test them to uncover the conspiracy behind Professor Seo's paper. Since she had insisted, Chang Ho couldn't refuse her wish, even though he worried about her safety. Not long after, Zhang Rak and several police officers arrive at the prison and immediately arrest Yoon Gab on charges of extortion and mistreatment of the prisoners. While being interrogated by the prosecutor, Yoon Gab is informed of a recorded conversation between him and Chang Ho, in which he claims to be Big Mouse. Hearing the recording, he becomes furious and thinks that Chang Ho was the one who complained to them. But Zhang Rak denies this and tells Yoon Gab that the person who complained was Su Chol, his subordinate who wanted to replace his position as chief warden. In the meantime, Chang Ho is asked to come to the VIP cell, 
where Duha is waiting for him and introduces him to the new warden, who is none other than Su Chol. He says that Su Chol will help Chang Ho uncover the true identity of Big Mouse, who may be in prison. In the evening, Juvie prepares to go home after finishing her work at the hospital. While driving, she takes a sip of her coffee to relieve the sleepiness. Suddenly, she felt so dizzy that she couldn't control the speed of her car and ended up having an accident, just like what Chang Ho had. Knowing that Zhu He had an accident, Du Ha rushed to the hospital. Meanwhile, Chang Ho then goes to Mei Ho to talk about Zhu He's accident, which is the same as his accident. He thinks that the accident was the work of Big Mouse, who wanted to avenge Du Ha after discovering he was the mastermind behind Professor Seo's murder. Arriving at the hospital, Du Ha meets Jae Hoon, who is already there. But what surprises him is that the police decided to take Ju He's blood sample because a witness said that the accident was caused by her, who was under the influence of alcohol. Du Ha asks the police to handle the accident case that befell Ju He thoroughly and then meets her, who has managed to get through a critical period, and her condition is now stable, although she is still unconscious. Meanwhile, Jae Hoon, with Jong Rak, then calls the chief bureau, says that the police will find drugs in Juhi's blood, and asks him to spread the news through their newspaper. Jong Rak asks how he can tell if there are drugs in her blood. Jai Hoon then says that Juhi's accident is the same as what Du Ha did to Chang Ho some time ago. Jai Hoon deduces that Big Mouse must be near Chang Ho and watching his every move. He seems excited because he's just waiting for the time to overthrow Du Ha and Big Mouse at once. The next day, the prisoners are ordered to gather in the hall, where Su Chol then goes up to the podium and announces to everyone that he is the new warden. He says that he won't be as arbitrary and discriminatory as Yoon Gap, and that all prisoners will be treated fairly and equally. Su Chol has also created suggestion boxes in several areas, so the inmates can write anything in the suggestion boxes. He will consider their opinions about life in prison as much as possible. Furthermore, he said he would search the entire detention cell and get rid of all sharp weapons to suppress the frequent acts of violence. When the guards search, Su Chol orders all the prisoners to enter the changing rooms and take off all their clothes. This was done to find the Big Mouse's men with special tattoos, like those listed on the tarot cards. Su Chol and Chang Ho finally find the three people who have tattoos and start investigating their backgrounds. Chang Ho suggests that Su Chol and the guards keep an eye on the three to find out who they communicate with the most. But Su Chol suggests torturing the three people so they can reveal the real Big Mouse. Chang Ho disagrees with the idea, as they may have never seen Big Mouse. He told Su Chol not to act rashly, which would end up harming them. Hearing his words that seem to be in a higher position, Su Chol becomes irritated and reminds Chang Ho that he is the head warden with full power in prison, so Chang Ho has no right to order him. But Chang Ho replied to Su Chol's words by asserting that he had made Su Chol the chief warden of the prison, and if Su Chol wanted to catch Big Mouse, then he had to do what he said. Meanwhile, Mei Ho gets a call from Hai Jin, who tells her there is a drug substance in the blood sample she gave some time ago. Hai Jin explains that the drug substance found in Kwang Yin's blood is a new type of drug that has never been reported in South Korea. Furthermore, Hai Jin said that the white blood cell count in Kwang Yin's body was three times higher than the normal number, which is a sign of leukemia. Mei Ho remembers several cancer patients who experienced similar symptoms to Kwang Yin's, and some well-behaved prisoners recently reported suffering from a mysterious disease. On the other hand, unbeknownst to Hai Jin, a mysterious man secretly takes photos from a distance. Jae Ho ordered the man to find the whereabouts of Hai Jin, who chose to go abroad after officially divorcing him. After that, Mei Ho goes to Chang Ho to tell him about the results of Kwang Yin's blood sample that Hai Jin tested abroad, which showed that Kwang Yin might have leukemia. But she can't help but wonder how certain types of drugs can cause the user to suffer from the disease. Chang Ho points out that Kwang Yin and the model prisoners were given certain supplements different from those taken by other prisoners. They also get work permits to clean up trash in rivers and other public areas for a fairly satisfactory fee. 
After learning what happened to Kuang Yin, Mei Ho became very angry and had no idea that Du Ha was so cruel, so she swears that she'll never forgive him. At the hospital, Du Ha tries to calm Ju He, who looks shocked after learning the news about him being accused of taking drugs while driving, which caused the accident. Seeing her so devastated, Du Ha promises her that he will do his best to keep her out of punishment. He says the incident with her was his fault because he had imprisoned Yoon Gap, Big Mouse's right-hand man. Afterward, Du Ha's assistant, Joe hands over the drinking glass that Ju He used before the accident. He tells his boss that the method used by Big Mouse to harm Chu He is the same as the method used by Du Ha to harm Chang Ho. Du Ha assumes that Chang Ho has teamed up with Big Mouse and that Mai Ho is purposely employed in prison to uncover the truth about Professor Seo's paper that mentions blood samples of prisoners. Meanwhile, in prison, Yoon Gab, who was found guilty of all charges leveled against him, was finally thrown into Gukshin prison. On his first day in prison, he got into a fight with Su Chol, who scoffed at him now that he was a prisoner. After being satisfied with beating his former superior, Su Chol ordered the prison guards to bring the three prisoners who were Big Mouse's men. Yoon Gab and the three prisoners are then tied up, and one of them is hanged by his feet resting on his two friends. Su Chol threatens to kill them if Yoon Gab doesn't reveal Big Mouse's true identity. But he insists that neither he nor they ever met Big Mouse in person or even saw his face. Not long after, Chang Ho arrived there and immediately rescued the prisoner. He asks Su Chol to stop all this, but Su Chol completely ignores his words and orders Chun Sik to kill Yoon Gab. Surprisingly, Chun Sik refuses to kill Yoon Gab and instead wants to beat Su Chol to death because he has betrayed Yoon Gab, who is his former superior. After Chang Ho and Chun Sik bully him, Su Chol reluctantly releases him and the three inmates. Soon after that, Chang Ho escorts Yoon Gab into his holding cell and warns him that the prisoners might launch their revenge against him, a former prison warden who used to intimidate them. That evening, Ju He asks the head nurse to take her to the hospital's underground laboratory, which only a handful of people have access to, including Jai Hoon and the three suspects for Professor Seo's murder. Despite holding the master key covering all hospital areas, she never finds out what they're doing there. After finding out, Ju He looks shocked and asks her husband to take her home. On the way home, she tells Du uh, that she went to the hospital's underground laboratory, only to find out that Professor Seo is in charge of the lab. However, when he asks about the lab's contents, Ju He diverts the conversation as if she wants to keep it a secret from him. The next day, Su Chol, irritated that his name is not on the list of candidates for a permanent warden, tries to ask Du Ha about it because Du Ha was the one who recommended him. Su Chol seems afraid of being considered presumptuous if he asks that directly, so he only complains about Chang Ho defending Yoon Gab and asks Du Ha for permission to punish them in his way. Hearing this, Du Ha allows Su Chol to do whatever he wants. Su Chol then gathers all the prisoners in the hall and brings Yoon Gab and Big Mouse's men in front of them while revealing their identities as Big Mouse's men. Not only that, but Su Chol also reveals to everyone that Chang Ho is not Big Mouse, and the real Big Mouse is hiding in prison. The prisoners were suddenly in an uproar after hearing Su Chol's words, as did Chang Ho, who didn't think that Su Chol was desperate to reveal his secret. Soon afterward, Su Chol makes a new rule that is very intimidating to the inmates if they refuse to work together to find the real Big Mouse. He even offers a special thing for the prisoners willing to help him find the real Big Mouse. When a prisoner is about to hit Yoon Gab and force him to say who the real Big Mouse is, Chang Ho rushes to stop him. However, because his cover as the fake Big Mouse has been exposed, Chang Ho is no longer respected by the prisoners, so they dare to fight him. Even so, he still has the full support of Chun Sik, who says he is as great as Big Mouse and will support him no matter what. Chang Ho then meets Su Chol at the warden's office and asks why Su Chol did something against their plan. He intends to report Su Chol's actions to Du Ha, but Du Ha refuses to talk to him. Seeing this, Su Chol tells him that Du Ha no longer trusts him, so Su Chol will go his way to find Big Mouse. 
A few days later, since Su Chol announced the real Big Mouse, a prisoner in prison, the inmates then suspect each other and complain about the people they hate as Big Mouse. So many prisoners are thrown into prison in solitary confinement for no reason. This then sparked disputes and riots that continued to occur among the prisoners. On the other hand, No Park helps Mai Ho to get blood samples from model prisoners to reveal the truth behind the contents of Professor Seo's paper. Since Chang Ho had lost his power as the big mouse in prison, Su Chol told Chang Ho not to act arbitrarily because he was just a prisoner. Chang Ho doesn't seem to mind Su Chol's warning and is happy that Su Chol will be working alone to find Big Mouse while he doesn't have to do anything. When Chang Ho was alone in the field, Yoon Gab approached him and was about to say the reason Big Mouse had not killed him, even though he had betrayed Big Mouse by siding with Du Ha. But Chang Ho knows that Big Mouse kept him alive because he is the only person struggling to uncover the conspiracy behind Professor Seo's paper. He explains that he's only pretending to side with Du Ha because he devised a brilliant plan. Yoon Gab urges Chang Ho to reveal his plan. However, Chang Ho refuses, insisting that he will only directly inform Big Mouse of the plan. Afterward, he asks Yoon Gab to message Big Mouse to meet him at the chapel at 8 o'clock in the evening. Since this was the last warning, he threatened to cancel his plans if Big Mouse didn't show up. Afterward, Jerry, who was in the hospital, was seen getting a call from someone and asked the doctor to take care of him going home because he had important things to do tonight. Not only Jerry, Ju He is also seen getting a call from someone and telling that person that he will come tonight. Meanwhile, Hai Jin, who had just arrived at the airport, is picked up by Mei Ho, who then tells Hai Jin that she asked Soon Tan and her father to follow the car that took the model prisoners to a place where they will do the job as usual. On the other hand, unbeknownst to Mei Ho and Hai Jin, Jae Ho turns out to have been following them from the airport, so he finally finds out where Hai Jin is hiding. At the same time, Soon Ta and Jai Guang, following the car carrying the prisoners, panicked because they lost track of the car that suddenly changed lanes. After a short chat, Mei Ho said goodbye to Hai Jin and that she would return later tonight. Shortly after Mai Ho left, Hai Jin was surprised by Jae Ho's appearance at the place. She runs to the kitchen, grabs a knife, and threatens to kill herself if he dares to touch her. When she tried to run away, Jae Ho, who tried to block his ex-wife, accidentally stabbed Hai Jin, killing her. Du Ha, who had found out about Hai Jin's whereabouts, finally arrived and found her dead covered in blood, while Jae Ho sat across from her, looking mentally disturbed. After his assistant took Jae Ho out of place, Du Ha checked Hai Jin's cell phone and found a conversation between Hai Jin and Mai Ho discussing the prisoner's blood samples. Realizing that Chang Ho and Mai Ho had found out about his crime, Du Ha immediately called Su Chol and told him to kill them. Su Chol devises a plan by making a riot involving the prisoners, where a prison warden then gives the access key to one of the troublesome prisoners so that he frees the prisoners and triggers a riot. That night, the situation inside the prison became out of control due to clashes between the prisoners and the prison guards. During the chaos, Chun Sik asks all his men to stay in their holding cells and not get involved in the chaos. Meanwhile, Chang Ho, who is in the chapel waiting for Big Mouse to arrive, gets a mysterious message telling him to come to the VIP cell. Shortly after he arrives at the VIP cell, suddenly, the power goes out throughout the prison, and it was all planned by Su Chol. In the darkness, Chang Ho hears someone enter the holding cell and sit across from him. When he lights a match to find out who Big Mouse is, he is shocked when he sees the person in front of him, which is none other than No Park. At the same time, the prison guards then took out firearms from the storage warehouse to confront the prisoners holding several prison guards hostage. The prisoners ask Su Chol to meet them because he is much worse than the previous warden. In the meantime, Chang Ho doesn't necessarily believe in No Park as Big Mouse, as he had almost been tricked by Yoon Gab before, but No Park reassures him by mentioning tarot cards and realizes that the only person who can handle him is himself. Hearing No Park's firm statement, Chang Ho finally believes that No Park is the real Big Mouse. He had no idea that Big Mouse was the person who had always been by his side and had always supported him since the first time he entered the prison. 
Chang Ho asks why no park chose him and when he planned all this. He informs that Chang Ho's involvement with Du Ha and his gang is none of his business. However, Chang Ho had provoked them, and he was doomed to die at their hands. And someone said is that he must be saved, and the way to save him is to turn him into Big Mouse. Chang Ho asks why No Park is so obsessed with Professor Seo's paper. He revealed that his daughter was killed while investigating the paper, so he was very ambitious to find the person who killed his daughter. Chang Ho suggests that they gather evidence regarding the murder and hand it over to the police so they can handle it. Hearing this, No Park felt very angry because he did not believe in the laws that apply in that country. No Park wants to find out the person who killed his daughter and vows to reward him a thousand times before he kills her. Chang Ho then asks Big Mouse to let him go if he manages to uncover the secret behind Professor Seo's paper. But No Park says that Chang Ho will be involved until the end when he manages to destroy Du Ha and the rest of his gang. No Park chose Chang Ho because Big Mouse's organization was too big and he couldn't do everything himself. He intends to make Chang Ho a person who has a big influence on society so that he can be equal to Du Ha and his gang, which are important and highly respected people. If Chang Ho refuses to cooperate, then he will surely die. Hearing this, he makes an offer to No Park, but he still seems to be considering the offer. Elsewhere, a prison warden overhears a conversation between Su Chol and his men who intend to kill Mai Ho in the medical room. The warden turned out to be Big Mouse's subordinate, so he reported it to his boss. No Park then tells Chang Ho to hurry to the medical room because Mai Ho is in danger. On the way there, Chang Ho called his wife and asked her who was treating Kuang Yin to leave the medical room. She immediately packs her stuff and takes blood samples belonging to the prisoners. But when she is about to get out of the medical ward, Mai Ho can't open the door because it's locked automatically since the riots spread throughout the prison. Knowing this, Chang Ho asks her to hide in the medical room while he finds a way to reach the medical room during the riots. On his way to the medical room, Chang Ho is confronted by the prison guards who beat him up. When he was desperate and unable to fight the guards, Chun Sik suddenly appeared with his men and immediately helped Chang Ho. He asks Chang Ho to go to the medical room while they will fight the guards. At the same time, No Park and Yoon Gab appear and direct Chang Ho to the medical room through a secret passage. Elsewhere, Mei Ho, hiding in the medical room, is startled by the prisoners trying to break into. She manages to overthrow one of the prisoners, but the other two try to attack her. Seeing this, Kuang Yan then got up to save her. After he managed to beat the prisoners, the warden named Han, who Su Chol ordered to kill Mei Ho, appeared and shot Kuang Yan. Even so, Kuang Yin was able to overthrow the warden. When Mai Ho was about to treat him, suddenly, Su Chol appeared in the medical room and pointed a gun at her, ready to kill her. Seeing that, Kuang Yin doesn't stand still and goes straight to protecting her. Unfortunately, Su Chol doesn't hesitate to shoot Kuang Yin and manages to knock him unconscious. Not long after, Chang Ho arrives at the medical room just before Su Chol kills Mai Ho. Seeing Su Chol about to kill her, Chang Ho becomes very angry and beats him to death. After that, No Park motioned for Yoon Gabbed to kill Su Chol, and he unhesitatingly carried out his boss's orders. Knowing that the situation is getting out of hand, No Park tells Chang Ho that he has accepted the offer that Chang Ho had previously made in the VIP cell. But in return, Chang Ho must keep his promise. Under the deal, Chang Ho will hand Big Mouse over to the police, and he promises to destroy Du Ha and the rest of his gang. Since No Park has accepted his offer, Chang Ho tells Jae Hoon that he's caught Big Mouse. Hearing this, Jae Hoon gets overjoyed, thinking he'll get the hundred billion won that Big Mouse stole from him. He rushes to tell Jong Rak and the police to come to the prison because Chang Ho has managed to uncover the identity of the real Big Mouse. At the same time, Du Ha, who can't reach Su Chol's cell phone, looks worried and decides to go to jail. Arriving at the prison gate, Du Ha is surprised by Jae Hoon and Jong Rak, who also just arrived there, along with several police officers to catch the real Big Mouse. After handing the Big Mouse over to Jong Rak and the police, Chang Ho asked Mei Ho to give Jae Hoon a blood sample of the model prisoners according to the plan they had agreed on. 
She says he used the blood sample as bait to catch Big Mouse. Sometime later, Chang Ho is finally cleared of all charges, and his name is also cleared because he's not the real Big Mouse. His life changes drastically because, at this time, he has become the most competent and most virtuous lawyer in his country after capturing Big Mouse. After becoming a famous lawyer, Chang Ho sets up his law firm and prepares to devise a plan to fulfill his promise to Big Mouse. On the other hand, Mai Ho is also determined to handle the case thoroughly because they still have to investigate the prisoner's blood samples, which were not handed over to Jai Hoon. Mai Ho and Chang Ho have already exchanged the blood samples for the blood of the people in the medical room before handing them over to Jai Hoon. Mai Ho informs him that Hai Jin is missing, and so far, she hasn't heard anything about Hai Jin. The next day, Chang Ho goes to the prosecutor's office and tells Zhang Rak that he is the lawyer who will defend Big Mouse in court. Hearing this, Zhang Rak was very surprised because he did not expect that the person who caught Big Mouse would become a lawyer for the legendary criminal. Knowing that Du Ha is watching them, Chang Ho asks that they be moved to another room without a camera so no one can watch them. Not long after, Chang Ho asks No Park to sign a representation agreement between the client and lawyer and plans to apply for suspended detention on bail. Therefore, he also asks No Park to prepare some money as collateral. Elsewhere, Jang Hu meets Chairman Kang, handing over the blood sample that Mai Ho previously gave him. Jai Hoon says that Mai Ho used the blood sample as bait to catch Big Mouse. He reveals the identity of the real Big Mouse to Chairman Kang. For all the efforts that Jai Hoon has made, Chairman Kang gave a gift in the form of a donation of company shares to him. He felt very grateful to Chairman Kang, who finally acknowledged his abilities. But then, Ju He enters the room and asks Chairman Kang to watch the news conference held by Chang Ho to announce that the reason he became Big Mouse's lawyer because Big Mouse is not entirely guilty. So Chang Ho would make sure Big Mouse was punished for his crime. Furthermore, Chang Ho announces that he will reveal the truth behind Professor Seo's murder case that doesn't involve Big Mouse, but Big Mouse has specifically asked him to handle the case. After hearing Chang Ho's words at the press conference, Chairman Kang refused to donate the shares to Jai Hoon and tore it up right away. Meanwhile, Mei Ho secretly stalks the car that takes the model prisoners near Mount Harion to do her usual work. Even though her father had forbidden it because it was so dangerous, she persisted in doing so since he was already closer to the location than her father and Soon Ta were about to head there. Arriving at the location her father and Soon Ta were referring to, Mei Ho sees Kuang Yin and the model prisoners entering a tunnel. Inside, Kuang Yin and the others are asked to put on special clothes before doing their job. Mei Ho then gets out of the car and calls her father to ask him to come to the place immediately. But soon after, there was suddenly an explosion in the tunnel. Realizing that Kuang Yin is in there, she decides to enter the tunnel to save him. Mei Ho finally manages to find Kuang Yin, who almost fell into a big hole in the tunnel. Even though she is overwhelmed to help him while avoiding the jet of water from a leaking drain pipe, Mei Ho doesn't give up so easily and tries to get out of there. The place's owner turns out to be Chairman Kang, who gets news of the incident. Although there were no fatalities in the accident, he said that fatalities would still fall in the future. Therefore, Du Ha was asked to take care of it. Chairman Kang tells him about research called NF9 being developed by him and one of his friends, Cho Ha Su, at their company called NK Chemical. Several years ago, due to problems with the NF9 project that they were developing, Hei Su suggested that Chairman Kang delay the patent registration for a year and resolve the issue to avoid becoming a major disaster that could endanger the lives of many people in the future. But Chairman Kang ignored his words and continued to take risks to gain big profits. Shortly after deciding to resign from the NF9 project, Hasu finally dies after his car catches fire. Here it is revealed that Duha is the grandson of Cho Hasu, who witnessed how his grandfather was killed in the fire incident. After his grandfather's death, Duha changes his identity, so Chairman Kang doesn't know his true identity. Turning to the present, No Park was finally released on parole with a bail of 3 billion won, which was paid in cash. 
After escaping prison, he takes Chang Ho to his restaurant, where he asks about the person who asked Big Mouse to save him. No Park says he will tell Chang Ho about it when the time is right, and then asks Chang Ho to come to the restaurant tomorrow because he will introduce him to them. Even though Chang Ho doesn't know who they are referring to by No Park, he chooses not to question it any further and rushes away. Shortly after Chang Ho left the restaurant, suddenly, there was a huge explosion at the place, and No Park was pronounced dead in the incident. The next day, Du Ha meets Chairman Kang, watching the news of Big Mouse's death on television. From their conversation, it is known that the person who killed Big Mouse was Du Ha and disguised it as a gas leak so the police would not suspect. But Chairman Kang doesn't seem to agree with Du Ha and says that Chang Ho won't be able to do anything more after his client dies, including revealing the truth behind Professor Seo's paper. Even so, Du Ha will still kill Chang Ho because he already knows too much about his crimes. In the evening, Chang Ho visits No Park's restaurant to investigate whether Big Mouse's death was an accident or a premeditated murder. While searching for clues, he is suddenly attacked by a mysterious man who Du Ha has hired to kill him. Afterward, Chang Ho becomes desperate, but another man comes to his aid, and the man turns out to be Jerry's henchman. Not long after, Jerry appears in front of him and says that the man who attacked him was the man Du Ha had ordered to kill him. Chang Ho finally realizes that Jerry is Big Mouse's minion who came to the place to help him. Jerry then tells Chang Ho that Mai Ho and his father-in-law have been taken to the Charles Hotel run by the Big Mouse organization to protect them from Du Ha and his gang, who want to kill Chang Ho and his family. Chang Ho then asks if Jerry asked Big Mouse to save him, but Jerry said that he had just joined the Big Mouse organization. After all, according to Jerry, that person had to be at least in the top three, below Big Mouse, who was at the top, to make such a big request to their boss. He says he has to take Chang Ho somewhere, where Chang Ho will get all his questions answered. Jerry invites Chang Ho to attend Big Mouse's funeral at a church. At first, Big Mouse helped them solve their problems behind the scenes. After that, they also cooperated with Big Mouse, which benefited both parties. Chang Ho then sees Yoon Gab, who also attended the funeral. Jerry explains that Yoon Gab has been acquitted of all charges because the victims refused to testify as if to signify that Big Mouse had silenced them. Chang Ho then asks if Yoon Gab is number two, and Jerry tells him that Yoon Gab is in the top three positions in their organization. As Chang Ho approaches Big Mouse's coffin, the lights in the room suddenly go out and a projector screen displays a video recording of No Park before he died. In that video, No Park informs them that he will stop using the old violent ways to run the organization and achieve their goals because right now, the whole world knows about Big Mouse's existence. Furthermore, No Park explains that he needs someone to lead their organization differently and decides to hand over all his authority as the number one to Chang Ho because he has confirmed that Chang Ho is smart and brave. No Park announced that Park Chang Ho was Big Mouse, who would be their leader. He also asks them to trust Chang Ho and obey all his orders because it is his last wish and command. After seeing the last video of No Park being shot in prison, Yoon Gab accuses Chang Ho of recording the video and faking it to take over the organization. However, Chang Ho vehemently denies the accusations because he simply doesn't want to be the leader of the Big Mouse organization. Not long after, Soon Ta shows up at the venue and confesses to everyone that he was the one who shot the video. Seeing his presence there, Chang Ho has no idea that his best friend is the number two in the Big Mouse organization. Because his position is under Soon Ta, Yoon Gab can't help but stay silent and dare not go against his words. Soon Ta then announces to everyone that everything No Park said in the video was Big Mouse's final orders, and if any of them refuse to obey his orders, they're welcome to stand up and raise their objections. Soon after that, not a single person stood up, indicating that they obeyed Big Mouse's final orders. Afterward, Yoon Gab tells Soon Ta that he will obey Big Mouse's orders, despite the annoyed look on his face. After Yoon Gab leaves, Soon Ta asks Chang Ho to decide whether or not to accept the offer to become Big Mouse. Hearing that, 
Chang Ho couldn't help but remain silent as he still looked completely shocked by the announcement. When everyone has left, Chang Ho asks Sun Tao why he did all this. He apologizes to Chang Ho, saying he can't just let his best friend die. He turns out to be the one who begged Big Mouse to save Chang Ho, and it was all because of Duha who dragged Chang Ho into trouble. Chang Ho tells Sun Ta that he doesn't want to be Big Mouse because he has a family to protect. However, Sun Ta points out that the organization's core members don't fully trust him as their new leader and that he will be in greater danger if they rebel. Before leaving, Sun Ta gives Chang Ho time to think about his decision, and he has to announce whatever his decision is the next day. Shortly afterward, Chang Ho asks Sun Ta to keep this all a secret from Mi Ho. Afterward, Chang Ho meets Mai Ho and her father at the Charles Hotel and tells them that from now on, Big Mouse's men will protect them because he must fulfill his promise to Big Mouse to uncover the truth behind Professor Seo's paper. Gai Guang doesn't seem to agree with that because, after all, the Big Mouse organization is a crime syndicate. However, Mei Ho doesn't seem to care too much about that. She wants to get the case over with because she's furious at anyone who intentionally causes the prisoners to get sick and is determined to reveal everything. The next day, Sun Ta goes to Chang Ho and asks about his decision. For his family's safety and because he promises no park, he decides to become Big Mouse instead of no park. Chang Ho then asks Sun Ta what really happened to no park's daughter. Sun Ta explains that no park's daughter, Su Jin, is a reporter covering the NR forum chaired by Kang Sung Jun. One day, she disappears without a trace, and her skeleton is found three years later. Besides the skeleton confirmed to be Su Jin, the police also found a notebook belonging to her that mentioned Professor Seo and a paper. Chang Ho then asks about the hundred billion one that Jai Hoon is looking for. Soon Ta says Big Mouse ordered Peter Hong to infiltrate the NR forum to find his daughter, but he instead took the money away. After finding his whereabouts, Peter turned himself into the police, forcing them to silence him on Big Mouse's orders. Even though they found Peter's whereabouts, they didn't find the hundred billion, which was stolen by Duha. Besides that, Soon Ta also informs that Yoon Gab has tapped Jai Hoon's cell phone so that they know everything Chang Ho said while he was locked up in the mental hospital. After agreeing to become Big Mouse, Chang Ho asks Soon Ta how he can lead the organization. Soon Ta says he needs to give him orders, and he'll take care of everything. The first step they will take is to conduct an investigation into Chairman Kang and the members of the NR Forum. With the help of Mi Ho, her father, and Jerry, they began to investigate the NR Forum in detail. Apart from Kang Sung Jun, the chairman of the Kang of NR Forum, 21 members of the NR Forum, including John Rack, who just joined. Besides being the founder and leader of the forum, Chairman Kang is the owner of the company NK Chemical and was formerly a major general in the military. After retiring, he went on to do business in all fields that generated profits until he became very successful and wealthy. He is dubbed the president for life, because he managed to make Gukshin grow very rapidly. After Jerry explains about Chairman Kang and NR Forum, Mei Ho then tells them about the rapidly increasing number of blood cancer patients in Gushin and assumes that Chairman Kang and NR Forum are the masterminds behind it, all since they have a lot of related companies with chemical waste that is very dangerous to health. Not long after, Mei Ho asks her father about the investigation results in the tunnel that exploded some time ago. Jai Guang explains that he's been investigating the leaky drain pipe, which turned out to be from a nearby fish farm. Since she's not from a chemical factory, Mei Ho is relieved that she was hit by a jet of water from the pipe before. Meanwhile, Chu He, who was having dinner with Chairman Kang at a restaurant, said that she had learned about secret documents regarding the issue of chemical waste disposal from Chairman Kang's company, namely NK Chemical. Ju He asks Chairman Kang to close the company because it can endanger many people's safety and his future. But he refuses her request and will continue to run the company, even though it has to kill many people because of the chemical waste they produce. After Chairman Kang leaves the restaurant, Du He finally reveals to Ju He that he was the one who ordered Che Bong and the others to kill Professor Seo on Chairman Kang's orders. 
Juhi looks shocked when she finds out her husband was involved in the murder. That same night, Juhi goes to the Gushin University house and orders Mai Young and the chief security guard to hire trusted people because she wants to destroy the underground laboratory that holds all the research conducted by the NK Chemical Company. After confirming that the workers have destroyed whatever is stored in the secret laboratory, Juhi rushes off to meet Chairman Kang. He is furious that she did something against his will. Juhi then explains to Chairman Kang that she intends to set up a new laboratory to avoid police suspicion since people already know about Professor Seo's papers related to the secret laboratory. However, Juhi needs a lot of funds to build a new laboratory, so she asks Chairman Kang to hand over the shares he will give to Jai Hoon. Without thinking, he gave the shares to her. Afterward, Du Ha, who always takes the time to swim in between his busy schedules, is surprised by the appearance of two men who suddenly attack him while he is in the shower room. Even though his arm was injured from being stabbed by the knife, Du Ha managed to overthrow the two men. Elsewhere, Chun Sik, who has just been released from prison, is greeted by Chang Ho, who gives him a new restaurant complete with all the equipment as a gift for Chun Sik's freedom. Even though Chun Sik thinks the gift is too lavish for him, Chang Ho is happy to give it. Moreover, he promised to help Chun Sik start a new life after escaping prison. Not long after, Jerry appears and tells Chang Ho that Du Ha has been attacked by two mysterious men and that the mastermind behind the attack is Yoon Gab. Afterward, Soon Tan tells Chang Ho that Yoon Gab recently bought a junkyard and Sori's gang that rules the area has now worked for him. He points out that there are still people who haven't accepted Chang Ho in the organization, and Yoon Gab is one of them. After that, Soon Ta and Jerry meet Yoon Gab and insist that their leader didn't issue orders to attack Du Ha. Yoon Gab reasons that he just wants revenge on the person who killed their former boss, and blatantly says that Chang Ho is just a stupid and weak person unfit to lead the Big Mouse organization. His words made Soon Ta very angry and hit him until he was unconscious. Considered insulting Big Mouse, Yoon Gab is tied up and put in a patrol-filled junk car, where Soon Tae has prepared to burn him alive. This was done so that no one would arbitrarily insult Chang Ho, now Big Mouse. However, just as he is about to set it on fire, he suddenly gets a call from Chang Ho asking him to bring Yoon Gab in front of him. Chang Ho says that he will not hesitate to kill Yoon Gab if Du Ha dies because of his actions. The revenge that Chang Ho wants is not as simple as the revenge Yoon Gab thinks because he will expose all their crimes and destroy them to nothing. He says that he was never interested in being a big mouse and will only be a big mouse until the matter is over, after which he will leave. Elsewhere, Mei Ho, her father and Jerry are seen reading an old article about one in charge of the laboratory at NK Chemical, Cho Ha Su, who was found dead by ending his life a few years ago. The three of them try to find out about the whereabouts of Ha Su's family to get clues about his suspicious death. Since Ha Su's only living relative is now in the nursing home, Mei Ho rushes over to ask a few questions. She met an old man named Mr. Choi holding a photo while saying that his grandson had drowned in the river and how surprised she was when he mentioned his grandson's name was Du Ha. Mei Ho remembers Du Ha's words some time ago about his father being imprisoned for disposing of chemical waste carelessly. But after that, his father died, ending his life in prison. Afterward, Mei Ho becomes reminded of the information provided by Jerry that Hasu has a son who was imprisoned for the same thing and was also found dead by ended his life in prison. Meanwhile, Chang Ho finally gets the idea to approach Chairman Kang after watching Du Ha's press conference regarding his plan not to run for mayor of Gushin in the next term. Chang Ho then asks Soon Ta to hold the press conference as grandly as possible and asks Jai Hoon to attend. At the press conference, Chang Ho decides to run for mayor of Gushin independently and openly tells all the reporters to present that Du Ha has a secret relationship with the most corrupt organization in Gushin, and Chang Ho is determined will uncover their crimes. After the press conference, Chang Ho asks Jai Hoon to support him as a candidate for mayor of Gushin, and in return, he will give Jai Hoon the same power as Chairman Kang. Besides that, he asks Jai Hoon to meet with Chairman Kang. 
Ji Hoon seems interested in Chang Ho's deal, as he invites Chang Ho to meet Chairman Kang at his house, where Du Ha is also there. Knowing Chang Ho's arrival there, Du Ha looks worried and asks Chairman Kang to send him away. Fortunately, Chairman Kang instead allows Chang Ho to come in and see him. After finally meeting with Chairman Kang and introducing himself in person, Chang Ho says that he has been threatened by Big Mouse, and the Big Mouse organization has now been led by the new boss, who is stronger and more ruthless than No Park. Chang Ho also says that his family was taken hostage by Big Mouse's men because they forced him to avenge No Park's death. Furthermore, he reveals why Big Mouse is so obsessed with Professor Seo's paper and about NK Chemical's chemical waste that causes prisoners to develop blood cancer. Afterward, Chairman Kang asks why Chang Ho came to see him. He emphatically says he wants to ask Chairman Kang for help to make himself the mayor of Gushin. If Chairman Kang agrees to his request, he promises to destroy the Big Mouse organization. Without thinking, Chairman Kang rejected Chang Ho's request. Moreover, it was also the first time he met Chang Ho. In fact, Chang Ho had worked out his plans so well that he gave Chairman Kang information about the identities of the core members of the Big Mouse organization. When Chairman Kang asks about the identity of the new Big Mouse, Chang Ho says that the core members are keeping it a secret and he hasn't been able to find him. Although later Chang Ho will have to disguise himself, Chairman Kang finally agrees and decides to take the risk and consider Chang Ho's request. After that, Chairman Kang invited Chang Ho and Mei Ho to his birthday party. When Du Ha hears this, he becomes furious because Chang Ho has gotten close to Chairman Kang. Chang Ho then tells Jai Hoon that Big Mouse never took the 100 billion won and tells Jai Hoon to find it himself. Elsewhere, Mei Ho visits Kuang Yin in prison, where he reveals that he does have leukemia and realizes that he will die soon. Afterward, she asks about the work he and other exemplary inmates usually do. Suddenly, Kuang Yin begs Mei Ho not to get involved because it will put her life in danger. To fulfill his request, she goes to his siblings to ask about their mother and finally finds out that Kuang Yin's mother has passed away. After meeting Chairman Kang at his house, Chang Ho rushes off somewhere with Soon Ta and Jerry. But on the way, they realized that someone was following their car. Chang Ho leaves that person alone because he must be an errand boy from Du Ha and his gang. He turns out to meet Yoon Gab at Chun Six restaurant, where they have a serious conversation. On the other hand, the person who followed him was Du Ha's assistant, who then reported to Du Ha about Chang Ho and Yoon Gab's meeting. After Yoon Gab left the restaurant, Du Ha called and asked him to meet. At first, he refuses Du Ha's invitation, but after Du Ha mentions Chang Ho, Yoon Gab agrees to meet him. When they finally met, Du Ha asked who had attacked him some time ago. Du Ha tells Yoon Gab that Chang Ho has met Chairman Kang and hands Chairman Kang a list of the organization's core members. Judging by how irritated Yoon Gab is when he finds out that Chang Ho gave the list to Du Ha, it can be assumed that the list is real. Du Ha asks if Chang Ho is the new Big Mouse, but he refuses to answer because keeping Big Mouse's identity a secret is one of the rules that members of the organization must obey without exception. Du Ha then offers to work together to get rid of Chang Ho, and he seems to have accepted the offer. Elsewhere, Mei Ho returns to meet Mr. Choi at the nursing home and asks about his grandson, who has passed away. Mr. Choi then points to one of the boys in the photo and tells Mi Ho that the boy next to him is Cho Sung Hyun, Cho Hasu's grandson. After hearing that, she relays the information to Chang Ho, who assumes that Du Ha has changed his identity to take revenge on Chairman Kang, who may have killed his grandfather. The next day, Chang Ho tells Yoon Gab that Du Ha is actually Cho Sung Hyun, who wants revenge on Chairman Kang, and asks him to bring Mr. Choi to leave the nursing home quietly. Elsewhere, Chairman Kang is seen preparing a will, and his assistant then asks if he will bequeath all of his wealth to his son, who is currently overseas. He says he will not pass his inheritance on to his son, a psychopath and serial killer. In the meantime, Jerry, who still doesn't fully trust Yoon Gab and is worried that he will betray Chang Ho, secretly follows him and his men who brought Mr. Choi out of the nursing home. While Jerry was watching them from a distance, suddenly, 
One of Yoon Gab's men hit him from behind until he passed out, putting him in the car's trunk. Not long after, Yoon Gab, already at the appointed place, called Chang Ho and told him his location. Having to take care of something important, Chang Ho asks Mai Ho to go first to Chairman Kang's birthday party, while he will meet Yoon Gab first and soon follow her. That evening, Mai Ho, who came to Chairman Kang's birthday party alone, became the center of attention. Jai Hoon then goes to her and greets her in a friendly manner, as does Chairman Kang, who seems pleased with her presence there. At the same time, Du He receives a call from Yoon Gab informing him that Chang Ho has fallen into their trap. Hearing this, Du has said goodbye to her because he had to leave to take care of something important. But as it turns out, he heads to a room in the building to watch Yoon Gab kill Chang Ho. Meanwhile, Jerry, who had woken up, finally managed to get out of the car's trunk. Knowing that Chang Ho's life is in danger, he immediately alerts Soon Ta and tells him that Yoon Gab has betrayed them. Soon Ta was suddenly very surprised and rushed to order all his men to save Chang Ho, who had been held captive by Yoon Gab. Knowing that Du Ha is the mastermind behind all this, Chang Ho tries to convince Yoon Gab by saying that Du Ha is the one who killed No Park. But Yoon Gab doesn't seem to care and points a gun at him. While making a video call with Du Ha, Yoon Gab shoots Chang Ho. Du Ha, who witnessed this firsthand, seems so satisfied that he had managed to eliminate his greatest enemy. Jerry, hearing the gunshots, rushes into the building, only to find that Yoon Gab has killed their leader. Knowing that Du Ha is the mastermind, Jerry calls Mai Ho and tells her that Chang Ho has been killed by Yoon Gab on orders from Du Ha. Mei Ho was shocked to hear the news of her husband's death and approached Du Ha, who was about to get into his car. With tears in her eyes, she vented her anger at him, but he just walked away. Seeing Mai Ho suddenly fainted, Jin Hoon immediately rushed to help her. Meanwhile, Du Ha goes to Yoon Gab and asks where Chang Ho's body is. Yoon Gab then tells him that he burned Chang Ho's body. Yoon Gab says that Du Ha has such great patience for being able to hold grudges for a long time. If he were in Du Ha's position, he would have tried to kill Chairman Kang long ago. Hearing Yoon Gab's words, Du Ha turned to him and looked at him fiercely, especially after Yoon Gab called him Cho Sung Hyun, which annoyed him. Surprisingly, the conversation between Yoon Gab and Du Ha turns out to be recorded and witnessed by Chairman Kang, all of which was planned by the living Chang Ho. Yoon Gab never betrayed Chang Ho and had planned everything with him to frame Du Ha. While Chang Ho rushes to the hospital to see Mai Ho, who is being treated there, Chairman Kang is surprised by the appearance of Du Ha, who has conspired with his assistant. After Du Ha injects poison into Chairman Kang's line, he immediately has a heart attack and dies. With the help of Da Huan, Chairman Kang's assistant, who has betrayed him, Du Ha manages to get hold of Chairman Kang's will. The next day, Chang Ho and his comrades are shocked to learn that Chairman Kang has passed away. At the funeral, Du Ha pretends to be sad and devastated by Chairman Kang's death and gets into a dispute with Jai Hoon until they are finally surprised by the appearance of Chang Ho and his men. Du Ha is very surprised that Chang Ho is still alive. Chang Ho approached Du Ha and called him by the name Cho Sum Hyun. He says that he found out that Du Ha was the one who killed Chairman Kang and Chang Ho vows to expose all his crimes. Elsewhere, Mei Ho, who is brushing her teeth, looks shocked when she notices that her gums are bleeding. She remembers Kuang Yin's words about the symptoms of blood cancer that he often experiences. Since she is experiencing some of these symptoms, it can be assumed that she has the same disease as him. After the funeral, Chang Ho goes to Jai Hoon and tells him that Chairman Kang's cause of death was not a heart attack. Hearing this, Jai Hoon doesn't necessarily believe his words because there is no evidence to show that Chairman Kang has been murdered. Jai Hoon, who thinks he will inherit a large inheritance from Chairman Kang, becomes arrogant and no longer cares about Chang Ho. Already fed up with Jai Hoon's attitude, he told Jai Hoon not to ask for his help when the will is read, then just left with his men. However, Ji Hoon ignores it, thinking he has inherited a large amount of inheritance. A few days later, Jai Hoon's wife hires some people to renovate a room where Chairman Kang's will is read. 
The workers turned out to be Chang Ho's men, who had been ordered to install cameras, so he could oversee the process of reading the will. Da Huan and a lawyer then enter the room, where Da Huan reveals that Chairman Kang had changed his will a week before his death. They will state that Chairman Kang bequeathed half of all the shares he owns to Zhu He and the other half to Du Ha. Hearing this, the other NR4 members are shocked and angry and accuse Du Ha of changing Chairman Kang's will. An annoyed Jai Hoon then calls Chang Ho to ask for his help. Since he didn't pick up the phone, Ji Hoon went to see him at the Charles Hotel and begged Chang Ho to help him get back Chairman Kang's inheritance that Du Ha had taken. Chang Ho initially refuses Jai Hoon's pleas, getting fed up with his attitude. But after Jai Hoon promises to fulfill all his wishes, Chang Ho agrees to help him. Chang Ho tells Jai Hoon about Du Ha's real identity, whose real name is Cho Sung Kinan. Chairman Kang knew about it and wanted to reveal his identity, but Du Ha had already killed him. Upon learning that, Ji Hoon becomes furious that Du Ha turns out to be the one who killed Chairman Kang. Afterward, he plans to unmask the other NR Forum members so that the NR Forum's power doesn't fall into Du Ha's hands. Jai Hoon also promises Chang Ho that he will fully support Chang Ho as mayor of Gushin so that he can destroy Du Ha. At another place, Du Ha tells her he will run for mayor of Gushin again. Despite knowing that her husband acted this way because of Chang Ho, Ju He still fully supports his decision to run for mayor. In the following days, Du Ha announced to the media that he would run for mayor of Gushin. Candidates began campaigning to gain support from the public, as did Chang Ho, who was running for mayor of Gushin for the first time. On the other hand, Mei Ho secretly goes to the hospital to get herself checked, and the doctor says that she has stage 4 lymphoma and is advised to do chemotherapy. Hearing this, she had no idea that she had the disease. Although very sad and devastated, Mei Ho intends to keep her condition a secret from her husband because she doesn't want to burden him, who is fighting for justice. In the evening, Mei Ho takes Chang Ho to the beach, where she asks if he is Big Mouse. He finally admits that he is now Big Mouse. Surprisingly, Mei Ho isn't upset by the fact and asks him to be a good and virtuous Big Mouse. The next day, Zhang Rak tells Jae Hoon that the other NR Forum members have sided with Du Ha. Hearing this, Jae Hoon rushes to meet those who are holding a meeting without him. He becomes furious that they prefer to side with Du Ha, even though they have been told about Du Ha's true identity. At the same time, Ju He contacts one of the company's top brass at Gukdong Daily to remove Jai Hoon from his position as the company president. She can do that because she is the largest shareholder after inheriting the shares from Chairman Kang. She has discovered that her husband is Cho Sung Hyun, Cho Hasu's grandson, and she doesn't mind it. Before leaving the room, Jai Hoon insists that he will expose all of Du Ha's crimes and insults everyone in the place as losers. Jai Hoon, who has now cooperated with Chang Ho, then handed over a flash drive in which there was some evidence to send Du Ha to prison. Not long after, Chang Ho asks Jai Hoon about Chairman Kang's family. He informs that Chairman Kang has a son who now lives in the United States. Chairman Kang breaks up with his son because his son is a psychopath as well as a serial killer. Soon after that, Jae Hoon tells Jong Rak to find out where Chairman Kang's son is in the United States, while telling him that he is a serial killer. However, Chairman Kang has paid someone to replace his son serving his sentence in prison, and the person to replace him is none other than Kwang Yan. Kwang Yan turns out to be willing to go to prison to bear other people's crimes because he really needs money to pay for his mother's cancer treatment. At the same time, Mei Ho hears that Kwang Yin is in critical condition and that his life may not be long. Hearing this, she rushes to the hospital to see him. In his last moments, he asks her about his mother's condition. Not wanting to make him sad, Mei Ho is forced to lie that his mother is in good condition after undergoing treatment. Kwang Yin seems relieved to hear that, and he finally passes away peacefully. After his death, Kwang Yin's sister tells Mei Ho that he is not a serial killer, but a person who Chairman Kang ordered to bear the blame for others. Mei Ho becomes very angry after hearing this and immediately confronts Ju He. However, Ju He denies that she was involved in Kuang Yin's case. 
After all, Mayho has no evidence that Chairman Kang or the NR Forum was involved in the matter. Elsewhere, Che Bong tells Du Ha about a cryptocurrency fraud case that Chang Ho had worked on before he was sent to prison. At that time, Chang Ho represented the victims and lost the trial, though in the end, the man behind the scam was caught. Upon hearing that, Du Ha decides to bribe Su Il, the prosecutor who handled the case, and invites him to work together to get rid of Chang Ho as the candidate for mayor of Gukshan. Su Il slanders Chang Ho by saying that Chang Ho had received 5 billion won from the perpetrator, so the public was in an uproar and began to feel hesitant to choose him as mayor of Goshen. Not only that, but Du Ha also bribed a television station that would broadcast a debate between mayoral candidates to corner Chang Ho and defeat him in the Gukshan mayoral election. After learning of Du Ha's actions to put Chang Ho under pressure, Sun Ta and the others suggest that Chang Ho shouldn't attend the debate. However, he insists that he will face it all and work it out to the end, so he will still attend the debate. Long story short, as Chang Ho prepares to head to the television station, Mei Ho asks Jerry to take him to the fish farm around the tunnel where Kuang Yin and the prisoners were about to work before the explosion. Mei Ho turns out to have told Jerry to investigate the fish farm, and he tells her that the place is very suspicious because it's so heavily guarded. The farm owner is Mr. Ko, who was the head of security at NK Chemical a few years ago. Mei Ho then asks Chun Sik and his men for help to accompany her to the fish farm, saying that what they found at Mr. Ko's fish farm. Arriving at the fish farm, Chun Sik immediately mobilizes all his men to beat up the guards. One of them turns out to be hiding and tells Chi Bong they're being attacked by Big Mouse's men. However, they finally defeat the guards and take Mr. Ko to Mei Ho, where she gives him a water bottle. Without thinking, Mr. Ko drank the water to calm down. Afterward, Mei Ho asks about the involvement of the fish farm with NK Chemical, but he denied that they had a relationship with NK Chemical. Then after Mai Ho said that the water Mr. Ko came from the water in the fish farm, he panicked and asked her to call an ambulance immediately. Seeing this attitude, she is increasingly convinced that the fish farm is just a camouflage to hide the very dangerous chemical waste from NK Chemical. Mei Ho reveals that the water is water she took from home. However, she will not hesitate to force Mr. Ko to drink water from fish farms if he insists on denying his involvement with NK Chemical. Meanwhile, elsewhere, Chang Ho asks Du Ha about the NR Forum since Du Ha is one of the members with an important position in the forum. But when he is about to show Du Ha a document that could corner Du Ha, he is instead asked to stop talking by the moderator because his time to speak is up. Because it happened so many times, Chang Ho finally realized that the television station was on Du Ha's side. After that, Du Ha asks him about the cryptocurrency fraud case, where he denies that he took bribes from the perpetrators. Chang Ho even insists that he will withdraw from the Gushin mayoral election if he is proven to have accepted the bribe. Shortly afterward, Chang Ho retaliates by asking about the special substance management bill that could harm NK Chemical, so Du Ha tries his best to withdraw it. Chang Ho also mentions that the number of cancer patients in Gushin has increased by 20% compared to other cities and asks Du on what he thinks about the claim that NK Chemical has the innovative substance NF9, which emits high levels of radiation in its purification process. Unfortunately, Du Ha cannot answer the question and accuses Chang Ho of slandering him with unsubstantiated claims. It didn't stop there. Chang Ho then showed him an old article explaining NF9, which was developed by Cho Ha Su, who is none other than his grandfather. In the article, there is a statement from Ha Su, who claims that NF9 and the radiation released in its purification process could endanger the safety of many people. Since it's true, Du Ha can't even rebut or say anything to evade Chang Ho's question. On the other hand, Mei Ho asked Mr. Ko admits that the fish farm he manages is actually a camouflage used by NK Chemical to dump wastewater into the sea. She records Mr. Ko as evidence to throw Du Ha and his gang into prison. After that, Mei Ho orders Chun Sik and his men to gather evidence from the farm and intends to reveal it all at the mayor's candidate debate live on television stations. Unfortunately, just as they are about to leave, 
Du has men arrive there on orders from his assistant. Chun Sik asks Mai Ho and Jerry to get out of there immediately while he and his men handle them. Instead of staying silent, Che Bong calls Du Jun and says that Mai Ho and Jerry are on their way to the television station. Du Jun asks his acquaintances in the police for help to get rid of Mai Ho and Jerry. But Yoon Gab acts faster and mobilizes the police, who turn out to be Big Mouse's men, to escort Mai Ho and Jerry so they can get to the television station without any problems. At the same time, Chang Ho became desperate because the television station presented the perpetrators of cryptocurrency fraud at the debate event. The man later confessed that he had evidence that Chang Ho took bribes in the notebook he was holding. Surprisingly, the man refused to show the evidence, and the audience even believed the perpetrator's words. Not long after, Mei Ho finally arrives at the station and enters the debate. She asserts that her presence there is not as Chang Ho's wife, but as a victim of radiation leaked from NK Chemical, and reveals that she was diagnosed with stage 4 lymphoma cancer due to exposure to very high doses of radiation. Chang Ho and everyone there also look surprised by Mei Ho's statement. Despite tears in her eyes, Mei Ho tries to stay strong and explains all NK Chemicals violations regarding handling hazardous chemical waste. She showed them the video footage of Mr. Ko, who exposed the guise of NK Chemical, who intentionally dumped chemical waste into the sea through a fish farm managed by him. Furthermore, Mei Ho explains that tens of thousands of people have died or developed cancer due to dumping chemical waste into the ocean, which is why Du Ho wants to revoke the Special Substance Management Bill. After the debate ended, Chang Ho went to his wife and hugged her tightly while apologizing for not being able to make her happy. At the same time, Jai Guang looks so shocked and devastated that his beloved daughter is suffering from stage 4 cancer and realizes that her life may not be long. The next day, a group of people protested in front of the prosecutor's office, demanding that Du has stepped down as a candidate for mayor of Goshen. They also demanded that NK Chemical be closed. However, Du Ha doesn't seem to mind that at all, even casually responding as if he knows Chang Ho won't be able to beat him. Soon afterward, Chang Ho goes to Ju He and says that Jai Hoon will perform an autopsy on Chairman Kang's body to prove that the old man was indeed killed by Du Ha. He purposely said that to Ju He so Ju He could confirm for herself that her husband was the one who killed Chairman Kang. Ju He finally confirms the truth through her conversation with her husband's assistant. Despite being arrested and interrogated for 72 hours, the prosecution could not arrest Choi Du Ha in the end. The court apparently postponed the investigation of Du Ha because of the upcoming general election and decided to hold a trial on Du Ha's case after the mayoral election. Even though Chang Ho and his team had worked hard during the campaign, in the end, he had to admit his defeat to Du Ha in the vote for mayor of Gushin. Mai Ho doesn't want to see Chang Ho and the others grieve their loss in the general election, then invites them to have a meal together. Not long after, Mei Ho gets a package from Ju He that sends her husband's disposable cell phone, which contains important evidence of Du Ha's crimes. Afterward, Chang Ho calls Ju He and asks her to testify at her husband's trial. After thinking for a moment, she finally agreed to his request. The next day in the courtroom, Du Ha says that the cell phone the prosecutor is holding isn't his. When Ju He secretly took the phone the night before, he found out through a hidden camera and had a plan to anticipate her betrayal. Besides that, he has also ordered his men to keep Ju He in a mental hospital, so she cannot appear in court to testify against her husband. Du Ha is eventually acquitted of all charges, citing a lack of evidence to put him in jail. After the trial, Mei Ho suddenly collapses unconscious. Chang Ho rushed her to the hospital. Shortly after awakening from her stupor, Mei Ho tells her husband she's tired and wants to sleep forever. She finally breathed her last breath, accompanied by Chang Ho, always by her side. He seems devastated by her death, but still tries to be strong. One day, Chang Ho meets Du Ha, who has just finished swimming. Chang Ho tells him that he bought the building. Du Ha looks very condescending to him, even though he already knows that Chang Ho is Big Mouse. Because even if Chang Ho is the Big Mouse, Du Ha thinks that Chang Ho will never beat him. Surprisingly, Chang Ho turned out to have changed the water in the pool with chemical wastewater to kill Du Ha. 
Not long after, Du vomits blood and eventually dies like he kills people with chemical wastewater. After Du his death, Chang Ho finds the location of the billions of one and Professor Seo's paper that he had been hiding. On the other hand, Jai Hoon's wife manages to save Ju He from the mental hospital, and she testifies at the trial to reveal all the crimes committed by her husband. Meanwhile, Ji Hoon finally became Chairman Kang's largest company's president and the new NR Forum's chairman. On the other hand, Yoon Gab returns to being the prison warden to punish Che Bong, Du Jun, and Jae Ho for all their crimes. After that, Chang Ho makes large donations to orphanages and nursing homes and is determined to become a good and virtuous big mouse to fulfill his late wife's last wish. The series ends.